One, two. One, two.
We thank you, Lord. 
it says in place. Uniform. Your uniform is your vest, shorts, same color. Your other garment cannot be a t-shirt. Cannot be a t-shirt. Like for instance, I know because we are put on this t-shirt. If you look at this man, she has a blue t-shirt on him. That would be his mom shirt, I think. But he put on all the vest in the because they told him to put on the uniform. That t-shirt is legal. You cannot play with a t-shirt on your vest with sleeve. But if you put on the t-shirt and he can't see it, come over your vest, that's okay. But if we can see it, we will take it off. You cannot Before the elbow and not a long sleeve. So, no long sleeve will be allowed. If you're wearing a sleeve that you put up, that's different. But a long sleeve shirt is illegal. So, please just ask the officers with this little information that I just showed you. Please remember that. So, when we come to the game, the game will have no problem and that we can come and have a good time and that basketball. Thank you so far. Just to know that everything that Sister Wanna mentioned, a copy will be sent to all of the teams so that we can add the quality throughout the rest of the season. Now, before we get to the president, I would just like to let all teams know that after the ceremony, we would want we want each team to take a photo.
wearing the number 22 jersey. Home war. Right. I see here wearing the number 22 jersey. The man that defeated the lady out there, out the south, Kelvin Salman. <laughs> Wearing the number five, coming way, way, way over from the sister eye, Cohen D'Souza. And wearing the number six jersey, they say he's the captain. They say he's the grandfather. They say he's not going to retire. Marlon Buju Charles. And the coaches. The coaches for Utters is Junie Shepard and for Butters is Wayne Deadly Henry. Yes, come on, people. Put your hands together for these two teams as the heavyweight, heavyweight division gets on its way. Guys, touch gloves and let's get ready to rumble. And let me introduce to you the officials for tonight, your crew chief. The veteran himself, Mr. Carl Bowley Knight, and his team tonight is the lovely lady, Vinny Joseph. And welcome back to the man, Strangman! Yes, it's time to play. Well, good night, good night, good night to you on the Facebook Live. Yes, it's the first night of the Division I basketball here in Antigua. We've been waiting for it for a long time, and now it's here. Our first game. It's the Utters full throttle coming up against Potters Steelers. We're looking forward for a wonderful game. We're looking for... A competitive game here tonight because it's been a while we've been you know COVID came and basketball here in Antigua was locked down for about two to three years now and now we're back it's first division basketball so remember don't touch that dial because it's basketball 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 the game we all love right here at the JSC Sports Complex. I just want to give a shout out to the executive, the Ababa executive, for putting in the work that to make this possible. I want to say thank you to all the, the little sponsors, the help that was put in to make sure that tonight was possible. Oh, I'm telling you that the excitement just far is, is, is ripe. The people are thirsty for basketball. It's like when you're in the desert and you have no water to drink. But, but now, it's back. It's basketball. So it's going to be a jump ball in just a few. So stay tuned and don't touch that dial because basketball is back.
All right, it's jump ball, and the first possession goes to Potter Steelers. Jake the Snake with the ball there, and he gives it over to Buju, the veteran there. And it's Humway White with the first shot of the night. Misses, but rebound, offensive rebound goes to Potters. And Jake the Snake with his shot as well. And both shots did not really enter the rim. So, Otters with the ball. Moving the ball around. Shot is in the air. And, oh my, oh my, that one went in off of the glass for three points there. You know, in basketball, we like to say, hey, he didn't call that one. But hey, it doesn't matter. As long as he goes through the rim, it's a basket. Cohen with the move. That was a strong move there, but didn't get the finish. And Utters with the defensive rebound. Here comes Utters. Sheldon with the ball. Gave it over to Bogle. Bogle over to Chemist. Chemist with the ball. Number 21 player there. And it's a foul. Yes, I heard that. That seemed like a foul on number three player. Yes, I'm correct. It's foul. And Jake the Snake. So it will be a touch in there. Inbound pass to Utters. That's the first foul there for the game. So Utters with the ball. Lincoln looking for that shot. Looks like he was fouled, but there was no call there. Looked at the referee, wondering why he didn't get the call, but you got to keep playing when you don't hear the whistle. Jake the Snake. Looks like he was going to fall there, but he held his balance, but he did not get the shot. So here comes Utters. Utters moving down the court. Shot. Misses. Big rebound there by Kelvin Simon there. That was a big rebound, big defensive rebound. Inside pass. Simon, oh, what a move there, but did not get the basket, did not get the finish, but that was a beautiful move there. And it's out of bounds, ball to Potter's Steelers. Looking a little timid thus far. Guys need, uh, looks like they need uh, a few minutes to, you know, get into the strive of this game. Of, oh, that was a beautiful pass there by Jake the Snake, but a bad finish uh, by Kelvin. I, he looks like he's a little out of shape, I guess because um, he had to spend some time on the field there when it was um, election time. Maybe he didn't get enough time to um, put in the, the game aspect. And it's showing here. Oh, I'm telling you, Patters, I'm telling you, Patters look a, a little flat. While Utters on the other end, moving the ball, getting up and down the court. And now the score is, is five to nothing in, in favor of Utters. Here comes Jake the Snake. Give it up to, to Marlon, Buju Charles. Humboy writes with the ball. Pass. Shot there. Oh, good. Count it there. Two points. Two points for the big man, Cohen D'Souza. Utters with the ball, playing, you know, a little, have a little patience there with the ball. They're moving it around, but that one was a bad pass. You can't make bad pass in the lane of Buju because that's what Buju is going to do. You know, we used to call Buju the sticky man. His, hand, his hands are very sticky when it comes to playing the space, playing the gap and stealing the ball. Oh, what a, I'm telling you, and he still has it. Even at the age of 46, still stealing the ball like if he's 19 but here comes Utters, looking inside, change of mind, swinging the ball around the perimeter. Bogle with a long one there. Oh my, that was a long three-point shot there. Oh, what a steal there by Chemist. Gave it up to Michael. And my, oh my, it's not usually you see an air ball layup in basketball, though. that one. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I, I believe he, he, he was caught off guard with the pass. So he just tried to get rid of it as quick as possible. And that's here goes our first substitution. Here comes uh, McDonald on the court for Humroy Wright. Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake, he has it. Looking for the drive. Looks like it was knocked away. Looks like from my, my position it was knocked away from behind, but the ref this didn't see that. And ball went is going to Utters. Wow. But I'm looking at Jake the Snake. He was saying I was hit on the arm. But I guess the ref didn't see that one. Here comes McDonald looking to get that outlet pass. 
It was a strong one, couldn't keep it under control, tried to save it from going to bound, but it was given to Atters. Another turnover there by Atters. Back down to McDonald. McDonald with the easy two, bringing his team within one. It's now five to four in, in favor of Atters. A long three point shot there again by Bogle. Count it there for Bogle. Warren Bogle with another one. This one didn't hit the glass. This one is what we call like butter. McDonald with the answer. Misses. Big rebound there. That's a big, 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 big offensive rebound there by Cohen D'Souza. You know, this guy is a guard, but he has the body as a, of a power forward. I'm telling you, uh, the action is just getting started here. If you're home and you're, you're watching us live, listen, you can lock off the TV and come on down here because the action is even better right here at the JSC. Kwame Payne, with his first touch of the game, made a good drive there and he finished at the basket. And now the score is 10 to 6 in favor of the Atters full chattel. Marlon with the ball. Passes back out to Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake with a three-point shot but misses. Offensive rebound, Utters. Here comes Utters. Weeks with the ball. Weeks still with the ball. Drives. Wheeling and dealing, but didn't get the finish there. Snake. To McDonald. McDonald inside too. But that was a turnover. That ball didn't get to Kelvin at all. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was a strong move. Even the finish was strong. It was so strong that he put it right over the rim. Check the snake. Wow. Wow. Substitution there for Jake the Snake. I, I, looking at him from here, looks a little frustrated. Um, looks like he was fouled there, but there was no call. And, you know, sometimes as a player, these things happen. Um, but you got to play. You got to play. You got to, you know, you can't stand up and, 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 and try to get into it with the ref because that's just going to take you out the game. You know your talent. You know your skill level. You got to use it to the best of your ability to continue to focus on your game to help your team come out victorious. A shot clock violation there. Shot clock violation. So it's Putters' ball. And here comes Putters. Andrew Venture with the ball. Inside to Kelvin. Kelvin. Oh, oh, that was an easy two there for Kelvin. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm, I guess he was too big there for that player. Weeks. Oh, Weeks with a long one there, but that one was an A ball. A ball there for Lincoln Weeks. Defensive rebound for Putters. Oh, my. Here comes Putters down the court. Bogle. Bogle still with it. Give it out to Lincoln. Lincoln looking for the shot. Pass it back to Bogle. Bogle with another three point shot. Is it good? No, it's not. But rebound there to uh, Putters. McDonald to Coin. Coin for three. Oh, count it! Count it! Give the assist to McDonald. The score is now 11 to 10, with Putters finally taking the lead here in the first quarter of this. Oh, my! Oh, my! What a shot there! Three points for Michael, the number 14 player there for Utters, giving Utters back the lead. Push with the drive. Didn't get the touch there. Long outlet pass, stolen away by Marlon Bujuchar, still playing like if he's 19. Here's a whistle. It's a foul and McDonald. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's Utter's ball, and here comes Utter's. Two minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Score 13 to 11 in favor of Utter's full chattel. 
inside pass there. Well, that, that, that one looked like a real bad pass there, but the defense there was not really in the lane to, to pick that one off. So Atters still with the ball. Two seconds on the shot clock. One sec on the shot clock. And the ball is still with Utters, with only one second on the clock. Weeks. Substitution there for Utters. And here comes Potters. Potters with the ball still. Marlon haven't really taken a shot yet in this, in this game. But defensively still looks solid. Pass over to Puss. Drives. Long pass there. Dahl picked away, but Butcher with his first shot. No good. And Utters with defensive rebound. And wow, that was a good defensive play there by the number 10 player there for Potters. But none of his teammates was in position to intercept that one. But here comes Kwame Payne. Looks a little out of shape there. But he has some experience. Oh, what a block. What a block. Is this cricket or is this basketball? And we have our first timeout taken here by Potters. Yes, yes. So it's 11 to 13. 11 to 13 in favor of Utters full throttle. Oh, yes, I'm telling you, the atmosphere here is getting right. You know, people finally have somewhere they can go on a Sunday night to see the most excited game in the world. This game we call basketball. You know, someone will tell you that football is the most, I mean, and, and, and not that they're far off. Football is the most popular. But when we talk about excitement, basketball is the most excitement game, excited game in the world. And that's why we are so happy that the first division, Ababa first division is back. Utters with the ball, Kwame with the ball. Gives it over to Bogle, Bogle with the drive. Bogle, oh my. Here comes there's a wrestle on the ground for the ball. Who comes out with it? It's Coy Quinlan, the high flyer. What he's going to do? Oh my, coast to coast. Oh my, Coy Quinlan and the fans in the stand. Oh, he has his own fans. I'm telling you, the high flyer, Coy Quinlan. Outlet pass there to McDonald. Give it out to Buju, but too strong there. And look at that step out of bound there. Number 13 player didn't recognize where he, he was on the court or where he is on the court. And he stepped out of bound. So ball back to Potters. Cohen, big shower. Oh, my. Oh, oh my. I'm telling you, that, that nearly looked like a great black shot from this end. But it seems like what happened was his hand rest on the, 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 on the player's hand. And really not hitting the ball, but he hit the hand of Coin D'Souza. So now Coin is on the line for two. First one. Count it. Count it there. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Second attempt. Oh, smooth like butter. Oh, I remember that, that, that commercial when they say, I can't believe it's not butter. Oh, I'm telling you, it's getting hot here. Oh my, what a block it was. Somebody need to check the glass there. Because Cohen the student just stuck him there on the glass. Oh, what a black shot. That was a great black shot to end the first quarter. You know, I'm telling you, I tell you that this is the most excited game in the world. And not just LeBron can do that, but you see, Cohen the Souza can do it just as good 
as the LeBron James. Oh yes, it's basketball, basketball, basketball. Right here at the Jersey Sports Complex. Oh, I'm telling you, the action is going to get hotter because the second game, yes people, the second game coming up, it's the newly, newly Spanish Heat team promoted this year to the first division coming up against the defending champion, Cuties Overs OJs. Keep the dial right there. We'll be back in a few. All right, we're back for the second for the second quarter. So it's the start of the second quarter. And Utters with the first attempt there. A defensive rebound to Kelvin Simon. And here comes Potters. On early turnover there. Is it a turnover or is it still a Potters ball? Let's see. Yes, it's Potters. The ball remains. The ball remain with putters. So here comes Puss with the ball. Gives it to Cohen. Cohen with the drive. Switch it there to his left hand. But didn't get the, the basket to go. And there's a whistle on the court. It seems like a foul. And it's on 22. Kelvin. Kelvin Simon with the foul there. So ball back to Utters. Oh, what an easy deuce there. Easy, easy deuce. You know, the Utters guys, they, they caught Putters sleeping, in a while, sleeping a while ago. And that was an easy basket. Oh, another turnover there. Another turnover there. You know, I, I, I'm telling you, putters, I, I, I don't understand what's going on. They, they're still not taking their time, relaxing, you know, making sure that they put the passes in the correct spot. You know, they, they, it's like they're, they're saying, that's where you're supposed to be. And the person is not there, and they still put the pass there. So too many turnovers thus far. Oh, my Bogle with another long one. Oh my. Three points there for Bogle trying to keep his team in the lead at all time in this game. Oh. Defensive rebound. Here comes. He goes all the way. And yes, it's easy to there down the lane there for the number one. 21 player Akeem Davis coast to coast with that one McDonald long pass there in the corner to Puss Puss sets 
pulls it. Yes, three points there for the Pussman himself, Andrew Venture. The score, it's 20. Oh, what a pass. A beautiful pass there. A beautiful pass. That's what you call a, a heads up play. You know, some guards need to recognize you don't really have to dribble the ball right down. And, and Kwame showed that a while ago with a beautiful pass for two. But Putters with the answer. Three points there for McDonald. Lindsay McDonald. Oh, my. Bogle with a long one. But an offensive rebound for Michael Burton there. With the easy putback. Putting his team up 24 to 21. Inside pass, Cohen. Oh, what a move. Oh, but he missed that one. Got on. He, oh, my. I'm telling you. Quinlan. That was a beautiful move there on the baseline. Didn't get the basket, but didn't give up. Got back his offensive rebound and got the easy twos. Oh, what a pass there. That's what you call a give and go pass. But they didn't get the finish. But here comes Sputters. Here comes Sputters. McDonald. With a power move there. And he was fouled, so he will go to the line for two. It looks like a substitution. The number 30 player. Lincoln Weeks is back in the game. He will replace... Akeem Davis, and it's timeout. Timeout here in the second quarter. I'm telling you, I, I, I am not even playing and I'm here sweating because the excitement, it, it, I'm telling you, is just to see the first division basketball is here again and it's just, it's just exciting. Basketball. McDonald on the line. Missed his first attempt. Looking for his second. No good. Oh, big defensive rebound there. Big, big defensive rebound by Sheldon. Abraham. Ball out of bound. Still remains with Utters. Was defected by the Potter Steelers player. So Sheldon with the ball. Guarded there by Quinlan. Looks like... A foul there on Quinlan. Really wasn't playing any defense. Just using that, that, that elbow there that, and, and, and forcing the guy outside instead of using his legs to play defense. Ball to Weeks. Weeks looking for the drive. Goes up. Count it there. Two points for Lincoln Weeks. Pushing the score to 26. 23 in favor of the Utters. McDonald let it fly. Big rebound by Kwame. Here comes Kwame. Kwame, Kwame you know, has been a, a, a decent guard in his young days coming up. I, I think one of the problems he had was injury. You know, he suffered a number of injuries in his time and had to, you know, at times just sit out season after season. But I guess for COVID, COVID gave him some time that, you know, to try and recover. And now he's back on the playing court representing. Oh, what a, what a fake move there. It's, a, it's been a while since you saw a move like that in basketball. 
Strong move there by Kwame. The pain man himself. Here comes Jake the Snake. Kelvin. McDonald. Inside to Quinlan. A little too strong. So the ball went outside. And it's now Otter's ball. And here comes Kwame with the ball. Kwame. Taking his time. Looking for his spot. Looking that cross. Realize that. That this guy in front of me is not really a good defensive player. And, and, and from here you can see that. But here comes Cohen. Here comes Cohen. Oh my. Oh my. When you look at that move. The way how he made that move. It, it looks like a, a simple move. But that's not a simple move. I'm telling you, the skill level of this guy makes that move look simple. Oh, what a move there by Cohen D'Souza. Here comes Putters. Jake the Snake playing the point. Gives it to Cohen. Cohen. Oh, being guarded there by Bogle. To Buju. Buju back to Cohen. Cohen with the shot. Misses. And the ball remains with Potter Steelers. Substitution. Cohen getting his first rest here. And into the game is the number 13 player, Ayani Joseph. Jake the Snake. Count it. Count it there for Jake the Snake. Three points. Tying the game. 28 28. Four minutes. And 30 seconds remaining. Jake the Snake with the steal. And so give Jake the Snake the steal. Give Jake the Snake the easy deuce. And give Jake the Snake team, Potter Steelers, the lead. Bogle with the ball. Bogle inside. Shellon with a move there. But couldn't get the basket. Oh, look at that foul. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mr. Kelly. Kelly. With the finish. And looking for the on one. So he will go into the line to try and compete. Complete the three-point play. Oh, my. Mr. Kelly. His first time playing in the first division. And his first basket. And if he makes the free throw, it will be his career high in the first division. Oh, I'm telling you, it's excited here. It's basketball. It's back. Ababa first division. We just went to second division for the past few months. And that's over with. And it's now... First Division, Ababa, Antigua, Barbuda, Basketball. So Mr. Kelly will, is on the line, waiting for the ball. And let's see what happens. Count it! there giving his team a one point lead 31 30 in favor of others Jake the snake with the ball Jake the snake with the shot big rebound there for Michael Barton you know Michael I'm telling you he's a small guy but Michael is always on the boards Look at that, Michael again. And his own teammate obstruct him, and that's why he did not get that offensive rebound. Michael is that type of player. He has the, the nose for rebounding. Oh my, the high flyer man. The man that likes to say, three of them. Coy Quinlan with his first three-point shot. Oh, I'm oh, oh my, look at this one. Oh, it's Bogle, but this one, was an air ball. Air ball there 
for Bogle. So he's three from seven just far from the three-point area. It's 33-31 in favor of Putter Steelers. Putters leading by two. But here comes Jake the Snake, trying to extend the lead for his team. Gives it to Coy. Coy with another one. But this time, it's off. And here comes Utters with the breakaway. Oh, what a block there. What a block there by Buchu. Oh, my. Buchu saying to the, to the young player, not in my house. I might be a little older than you, but I still got the touch. I still got the knock for this thing called defense. Turn over there. Turn over. And, and, and Weeks with a smart foul. That was a very smart foul there. Very, very smart foul. Giving his team the opportunity to get back, knowing his team was not in the penalty. And so he committed the foul very quickly. So it's not even a breakaway foul. Oh, that was, that was great. That was great. That's, that's when your basketball IQ is intact. But here comes Putters. Homeboy right back into the game. Buju for three. Is it good? No. Last touch there by the Utters team. So it's still Putters ball. Jake the snake. Gives it over to Homeboy. Homeboy pulls up. Looks like he was hit on the arms, but there was no call. Putters who um, Utters with the ball. Weeks. Pass. Oh, Kelly. Oh, I'm telling you. Shaquille Kelly is looking like a, 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 a master player here tonight. Just far. Oh, what a move. That was a decent move there. And he's now going back to the line, but this time for two. Let's see if he can convert these two. First one. I count it there. Count it. He now has four points in the game. Looking for his second. Count it there. Count it. Oh my, tying the game. 33-33. Yes, people, it's Potter Steelers against Utters Full Charge. Turn over there by Homo Right. Outlet pass to Weeks. Oh my. Oh my, buddy. He couldn't handle that one. He really couldn't handle that one. So here comes Putters. Oh, what a pass. That was a smart pass there to Buju for the easy two. So here comes Utters. Utters with the ball. Pass to Lincoln. Oh my, look at that one. And Lincoln is looking at the ref, saying, ref, I just got fouled. But the ref says, not from his point of view. So let's keep playing. And here comes Lincoln now with the foul. Inside pass. Aishan Peets. Looking for a long pass there. Could have been stolen. But the defender didn't see it. Jake the Snake. Pass. To Ayani. Ayani with the power move there. But he was fouled. And now he will go to the line for two. Yanni Joseph on the line. First one. No good.
Second one. Count it. Count it there for Ayani Joseph. Atas. Oh, the, oh, Patas with some great defense there. You know, Buju thought that when he touched it, that the Atas player touched it as well. But the ref said, no, I only saw your touch. So ball remained with Atas. Peace with the defensive rebound. Here comes Jake the Snake. He could go all the way. But no, he was stuck there. Oh, my. And, and that's the same thing I'm talking about with the passes. I, I, I just mentioned that a while ago, how they're passing the ball. They're not really taking the time and passing the ball, you know, putting the ball in the correct spot. And, and, and that's about now the, 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 the 12 turnovers of, of, of the half. Oh, my. That was a lot of body there. But here comes Jake the Snake. All the way for two. Two points. And a foul there. It's a foul there. So, looks like Kwame will go to the line for two or he's out of bounds. Let's see what the, the, the ref says. Oh, it seemed like penalty. Yes, Potters is in the penalty. So, it is two shots. Two shots coming up for Kwame Payne. You know, tonight officials, the crew chief for our officials is Mr. Carl Bowley Knight, a veteran referee, a, a veteran basketball player. And he is assisted by Brunik Joseph. And Eric Line. Well known as Strongman. Oh my! That's an air ball. Oh my, on the feature line. I don't know what happened a while ago. It seems like some kind of wind came in and moved that ball a little west. But here comes Sputters. Nine seconds. Oh, oh, what a pass. That was, oh, look at that. Trying to do too much. Could have been a simple finish. But now, check the snake. It is, oh. Oh, if that one would have gone, it would have been good. But the nice given go there between Buju and Humroy. Oh, that was beautiful. But Humroy did not get the finish. It's halftime here. Halftime here in the first game. The score is 38-34 in favor of Potter's Steelers. Potter's Steelers leading by four points at the half. Stay tuned because I will try to do an interview with the president of the Basketball Association in a few minutes. Remember, don't touch that dial because this is the place to be. It's basketball at the JSC. Sports Complex, Division One, Ababa Basketball.
All right, I'm joined here by the president of the Basketball Association, Mr. Michael Freeland. Mr. Um, Mr. President, basketball is back. First Division basketball is back. How are you, how are you feeling tonight? knowing the work that you and your team had put in to make this possible. It's a great feeling, Super. I must say, it's a very good feeling. Um, you can tell just from the fan outpour, we have a good stadium, it's rocking. Uh, you hear the cheers in the, in the crowd, and um, you know, it's, it's just overwhelming. Um, we, we were hoping we would have gotten to the stage a little bit earlier, but we had a few delays. But despite all of that, we're back. It's exciting. And the game is close, and you know when you have close games, it makes the, the, the atmosphere even better. I'm, I'm telling you, because I'm sitting over here, I'm not even playing, and I'm sweating. Yeah. You know, I'm sweating, <laughs> I, I say, and I know it's going to get a little hotter, because, you know, we have a Spanish, a heat. Spanish heat coming Spanish up against heat. Overs in the, in the yeah. second round. Yeah. So, um, in, in, in all the work you guys put in, did you have any difficulties in the sense of, because I heard you said um, it could have been earlier. Yes. Um, well, what I, could have caused yeah, Well, well I mean, you know, one of the things that we tried this year was to play the Division 2 first. Right, and right. And then play the Division 1. And I think that worked, worked well. Okay. Um, having the focus on the Division 2, people get a, a chance to see what our, you know, coming up stars looking like. And then uh, putting some of them from the Division 2 into the Division 1 with other teams, it just shows um, how, how, how much more prepared these guys can be and how much more prepared that they will be they will be and um, as you know the court was in a bad situation where we had to take up the court and put oh, down yes, our yes, new yes, ends yes, yes, so yes. we replaced the both ends north and south we replaced, replaced both ends and that caused maybe three weeks of a delay and because of that um, we had to play the games outside and weather again would have delayed a few games or postponed a few games so now you don't have a, a, a covered stadium to play the games three weeks out Three weeks out means anything like eight mm -hmm. to, to, to 12 games. That's, right. That's a lot That's of games. Right. Yes, yes. So, you know, we were hoping that we could have actually started the Division One um, as early as March. But we now know what we need to do. And things are in place for us to start the Division Two a little bit earlier and have it run a little bit smoother so that we can start Division One next well, year around well you February. Know the, you, well, you know, the good book says... Every disappointment is a, it's blessing. a blessing. Definitely. And right now, I, I, I believe the blessing is pouring out. I just want to say congrats to you and your team. Thank and you. And we just want to, you know, ask you to keep up the good work, keep up the hard work. Because, I, you know, basketball is the number one sport in Antigua. I agree. I agree. And, and let the me, most exciting sport I agree, in the world. I agree. And let me tell you, we can't do it all on our own. And it would not have been possible if it wasn't for people like you sitting at the helm of the Referees Association and assisting us, telling us. Because you've been around basketball longer than I have. And you know the nuances in basketball. So you are, you are one of those that would every now and again tell me something, boy. Try this. Try that. And trust me, man. You have been a great help. Well, again, no problem. Hey, I love this sport. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So thank you again, Mr. President. Anytime. Anytime. And all the best. Anytime. All right. All right, the second half is on the way. And Coyne with a, a, a big miss there. Buju tried to steal uh, the, the offensive rebound, but really couldn't hold on to that one. Just to share a little stats with you from the first half. We have for Otter's full throttle leading the way in points is Warren Bogle with nine points. And you know that nine points are three three-pointers. And, and assisting him with five points is Shaquille Kelly. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm telling you. His first time playing in the first division. And for Potter Steelers, Leading way with points is Mr. Cohen D'Souza with 11 points. And assisting him so far, we have two players with seven points. We have Mr. Jacob Lloyd, Jake the Snake, and we have Coy Quinlan coming off the bench with seven as well. Yes, the action is here. Those are the point leaders just far in the game. 
from our first half stats. Here comes a putters. Oh, moving the ball nicely. Oh, yes, I'm telling you, that's, that's good ball movement. That's how you play basketball. You, you don't have to dribble, dribble, dribble. Passing makes defense go crazy. And if you pass it properly and put it in the right spot, it makes your team look real good. Oh, look at that move. Oh, that was a tough move. Defensive rebound. Here comes Cohen D'Souza. Tapped it to Buju. Buju lost control there. Atters with the ball. Here comes Atters. Lincoln Weeks. Lincoln Weeks. Oh, my. Oh, what a move there. What a move there. Strong move there. I'm telling you, that was a strong move there for Lincoln Weeks. Oh, I, 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 well, I heard that slap from way up here. That player can't even say they didn't foul the person. I'm just hoping that they, they got the mosquito on that slap. I'm telling you, that was a hard one there. So Mr. Humboldt Wright, with the and one, trying to make and complete the three-point play. Now, when we look at the rebounders, the leading rebounders just far in the game, for others... We have Warren Bogle with seven rebounds leading his team. And for Potters, we have Marlon Charles with seven rebounds as well. So those are your rebound leaders for each team. Oh, that was a full court press there by Otters. Otters came up with the turnover, and just like that, Otters turned it back over to Potters. Marlon Charles as well with, with two black shots and three steals. I'm telling you, Marlon Charles is still playing like he's 19. Weeks drives. Weeks pain with the ball. Buju stepped up with the defense. Over to Weeks. It's in the air. No good. But an offensive rebound to Bogle. Bogle. Bogle gives it off to Pain. Pain dealing and wheeling and nearly turn it over. These guys got to understand passing the ball makes the game easier. The more you dribble, the, 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 the quicker you get tired. Oh my, look at that long one. A long three-point shot there. Count it. Count it. For Lincoln Weeks, the score is now 39-43. Oh my, that was smooth. That was smooth. Cohen D'Souza with that beautiful shot. Wow, that, that, that shot wasn't a good shot at all. But here comes Michael. Gives it two weeks. Oh my, misses. Rebound, offensive rebound. Jake the Snake. Stolen there. Kwame with the ball. Kwame using. Oh, yes, people. Yes, people. It's 
45. Utters, 39. Putters, 45. Five minutes, 46 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Coming up next is the defending champion, the QT's Overs. QT's Overs against newly promoted Spanish Heat. You know, looking on the, the bench down there for Potters, you know, Potters has a big bench and lots of guards. And from here, some of the guards have not entered this game as yet. And, you know, there's one player down there that I know who is not comfortable not going on the court. And, you know, he's not afraid to take off his jersey and go home. But let's hope as they get older, they get wiser. Oh, my. It, it, um, Otters fell asleep there on the defensive end. And made Jake the Snake with an easy two. Bogle for three. Oh my! Count it! Bogle! Another three pointer. Give the assist to Kwame Payne. Buju in the post. Kicks it out to Jake the Snake. Inside again to Buju. Uh, Buju with a bad pass there that turned into a turnover and here comes Weeks. You know, um, Weeks kind of breaks up because, you know, in the first half he was blocked by that same player. What a move there by Coy Quinlan. But give the assist to Cohen D'Souza. You know, Coy Quinlan was once a high flyer basketball player and a number of years ago he got into an accident and he has never been the same again but i must say tonight he's playing he looks you know good he's playing on the control he's making his basket and maybe maybe just somehow we might see some of the old high flying coy quinlan Bogle, another long one. You know, um, this player, Warren Bogle, he, he pulls that shot from anywhere. You know, these guys are fans of Stephen Curry. You know, where you just step over the half and you pull that three-point shot. So, Potters to inbound. Jake the Snake. Inside to Quinlan. Quinlan. That was a good move there. Just didn't get the touch. That, that was a great move there. And here comes Otters. Otters. Weeks on, he's knocked down there by Buju. So he will be going to the line for three points. Three free throws coming up here for Lincoln Weeks. Trying to give his team three needed points. It's 43 51 in favor of Potter Steelers. Timeout. Three minutes. 39 seconds remaining in the third. Remember, don't touch the dial. Because the second game, the Overs, OJs, will be coming up against newly promoted Spanish Heat. Oh, I'm telling you. The night is one for all of us to remember. In 2000. In 2000, somewhere there, in March, April, 
COVID shut down basketball in Antigua. 2020. Shut down basketball in Antigua. And now in 2023, the Division I basketball is back. Oh, I'm telling you. It is something we've all been looking for. And now it's here. Weeks on the line for three shots. First one. Count it. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Looking for a second. Count it. And now, looking for the final shot to make it three points for his team. Count it again. Uh, this guy is a, is a great free throw shooter. Shoots a very high percentage on the line. But here comes Sputters. Jake the Snick. Shot. No good. That was a strong one there. Buju with the offensive rebound. But misses. Jake the Snake with the offensive rebound. Two points there for Jake the Snake. Here comes Atas. Lincoln. 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 Looks like he was fouled, but no call there. And he's looking at the referee. But the referee saying, no, no. The way you made the move. Is why you fell to the ground. Oh, what a what a what a pass there. Easy too. Kwame. Kwame. Still with it. Kwame still with it. Oh, I'm telling you. This is the style of basketball we played when we played 21. You just hop, 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 and then turn it over. But Utter stuck with it. Yes, they stuck with it. And the number 21 player is now on the line looking for... Two points. So Akeem Davis, the number 21 player, will now try two free throws. And he missed both features. And here comes Utters with the rebound, offensive rebounds. Oh, that's a. Oh, oh my. Oh my. From, from, from where I'm sitting, it looks like, you know, Weeks was fouled about three times. In the whistle, the whistle did not blow until that last one. Oh, number. F oh my. I'm now looking on the court. I'm realizing that number 15, Adisa Harris, has finally made it on the court. And the number 11 player as well, Errol Collis. They now on the court. Two, two quick guards. Wow, I, Cohen, Cohen went for that rebound so strong that it came out of his hands, slamming into the rim. But somehow, Utters touched it, out of bound, and it's... And Qualis, immediately, with two points, just entering the game. Leaks. With a big move there. But didn't get the bucket to go. Here comes Vasai. Here comes Qualis. 
out of bound. It's Atta's ball. Atta's with a long pass. One on one. Weeks against Vasai. Looks like a foul, but the ref says, no, it's just a out of bound back to Atta's. Backcourt there, backcourt violation. So it's Potter's ball. Score 57 51 in favor of Potter's Steelers. Long pass there. Rasai sets. Oh my. Air ball. A ball there on his first attempt in the game. And Patters tried a quick pass there. Didn't work out. And here comes Lincoln. Misses. Rebound. Quinlan. Here comes Jake the Snake. Oh my! Oh, that was... Uh, that. That was a, uh, a, 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 he had the right intention with that pass, but he threw it behind his teammate back, and Qualis couldn't recover enough to get it. But joining me here in studio is none other than the man himself, Mr. Aldo McCoy. Good night, Mr. Aldo McCoy. Hi, good night, um, Coach Super David. How are how, you doing tonight? How are you doing tonight? Well, I'm, I, I'm well. Yeah, I'm well. It's basketball, baby. Basketball is back. First division basketball, a barber basketball. And we're here watching, of course. I'm seeing. Um, to, is it? What a totally wonderful word. <laughs> EMC squared or cubed. Um, total imports. Part of Steelers in the red. Yes, total imports. Red, yellow, or one white trim versus Kennedy's Otter's full throttle. Yes. Um, I'm late coming into the park, but of course, you know, when I right, reach in the park, a lot of people want to uh, inquire about my well-being and everything, so <laughs> you know it is. But I'm here, people. The voice is back. God has been great. God has been awesome. And of course, this year promises to be an exciting year of basketball. Hey, you know, um, it's something we're looking forward for. We've been test, <laughs> you know, testing a lot for it. Yes, yes. And, and now it's here. It's here. We have 36 seconds left in the third quarter. 57 to the total imports part of Steelers. And 52 to the men from the autos. Kennedy's autos full throttle. And I'm seeing we have to, of course, uh, before by the third quarter. We, oh, Carl Quinlan with a 10-footer. A spin on the baseline. Uh, that was a great move there by Carl Quinlan. Yes, I hope. It's great to see him playing. I, sometimes you need new environment, new starts um, um, to refresh yourself in the game of basketball. And I hope that it works out for him. You know, I, I, I was saying that earlier because, you know, the accident he got into. And then COVID, COVID came, so basketball wasn't playing. Tell so, me. You know, he's in the, for three years, had an opportunity to heal his body, you know, and get his, himself ready. For this competition. Tell me about COVID, man. No oh boy. Yes. Well, of I, course. I don't want to tell you about COVID. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, but I'm of sorry, course. It's all good, man. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's good. It's good to see. I hope that he really goes because he's playing with a, one of the greatest players, I think, of the last generation. I'm going to, um, we have Marlon Bujo Charles, and he, if he wants to learn, at least get something before his career is over, he has to try and glean from a player that has that high basketball like you. And I, I totally agree, you know, it's always good to play with a veteran player, someone who have been through the ropes, someone who understands. And we're not talking about a player who just played. No. We're a player, talking a dominant player. A dominant player. And, uh, you know, I remember one time I said the man that had won the most MVPs, and of course, Miss Knight stopped me. And um, I, I thought she was going to remind me about um, Carl Bowley, and I just said, don't forget Richie Francis. And I said, ah, oh, we have to remember Richie. But of course, of this generation, of the last 30 years, I think, Marlon Bujacharz has made a stamp on basketball. And he continues to make his contribution. He is one of those players that's not afraid because he has transitioned 
to be a, um, a renowned referee of note. I think he's fair when he makes his decision and he takes the personality out of it. And I think he's growing in that in that um, avenue right now. Yes, 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 yes. So just giving back here, I'm told, you know, I like controversy. I did my go around and I, um, I was told that the Ovals men said that Buju is too old. He can come and assist them in the management aspect. So they said he was too old. But of course, the part of Steelers said, hey, we welcome you, Buju. We know your worth. Apparently, they don't know your worth in the Ovals. Um, contingent oval setup. So come on over and let's see what we can get. Uh, so, so that's why he's with Potters. That's why he's with, and of course, Charky being the manager um, of the um, transfer board, and you know, Bush is aligned with transfer board during business league. So oh. it's an easy transition. So the, the connection was there already. Yes, yes. Hey, hey, I'm watching this. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, this is my first look at the artist's man, and I'm looking, I'm seeing Kwame Payne. I heard the name when I was watching on Facebook. I was watching you live, and I'm seeing. Um, Bogle, Warren Bogle, I'm seeing is that Michael Barton? Yes, yes. Um, and Barton. of course, number number two. Lincoln Weeks. Lincoln Weeks, of course. And of course, Akeem, number 21. So is this a new look? Or is this a kind of revamp? Or is it a mix up? Is it like, I'm not going to say it's a blend, because you know that's a strong word to use, because blend had so much quality back in the day. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, well, you said it earlier. You like controversy. <laughs> hey, and the Potters man, it's almost like a brand new team. There's a foul there. Coy Quinlan attempting a shot. He will go to the free throw line to shoot too. And I'm seeing, of course, the well-traveled. The, well <laughs> the well-traveled, your cousin, Rafiki Adisa Rasai Harris, is in the house. Back again. With, back again with, with Potters. You know, if you love someone, you release them, and they will come back to you. So, <laughs> so you should be saying, love takes time to heal. And when it heals, you go right back. <laughs> so it's great to see. <laughs> you know, and the thing, he's in, he's in good form. Um, because he just concluded the second division playing for down in the home. Fearless crew. Fearless crew in the, in the community. So he's of good neck. And I'm seeing, of course, the $6 million man. Um, Cohen D'Souza, oh, yes. out of Barbuda, Codrington Barbuda. His quest is to be the best player ever to come from the 62 square mile in Ireland. That's ah. what he says. All right, all right, all he right. said he's going to be better than Rannix Ned. I said, you still have some work to do. He's, he has the goods, but it's just to put them together in the cart. And then when you reach the, the, um, the, the cashier, cash it out. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can say talent-wise, talent -wise, he's better that yes, Alex. But dominant-wise, no, no, he's not there yet. It's he has to take it another notch. Maybe this is his year. Um, he has gotten a rest. Uh, of uh, but I saw him during the business league. The finals looked like he was carrying an injury. I hope he got over that hamstring because I was paying attention. Because he's one of my guys. You know, he's one of our guys. Oh, you know that from the national setup. Young blood. Yes, one of the young bloods. <laughs> but um, this year I hope that he is um, attending the national practice. I hope. Yes, he is. That's great to hear because, you know, we have that battle to do in Nicaragua or Chile. Chile, yes. You know what I mean? So, and I really need his level of talent in order to be competitive. And it's good to see Puss and Juventure on the team. Um, I'm, I'm seeing Errol Qualis. We're seeing Coy Quinlan. But who's the leader on the court? And that's where you got to look at. And I spoke with her. I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to, I went to their practice up there in Potter's area. And um, I was trying to suggest something to my good friend Rasai that you got to be a leader this year. You got to tone it down a little, slow it down a little to allow the others to play with you. But you know, sometimes the rush of blood when we see the fans in the stands and we want to create that excitement, you, you know, you, sometimes you lose a little focus. Who's that? Oh, I know. Oh, wow. Is that. DJ Sheldon Abrams. Yes, yeah, Sheldon Abrams. Wow. That was a former youth national player. Yes. Sheldon Abrams. It's good to see he's a DJ now. I didn't know he had time. I know he has time to spin. They, they, they used to play records. <laughs> I know they used to, he has um, the turntable. But it's good to see that he has gone back to the community and is playing basketball. And the score is only a five-point lead, ladies and gentlemen.
It's 55-54. The men from the Potters, the Steeler Nation, has it. Rasai drives. Makes the basket. A little delayed uh, layup there, like slow motion. And um, they yeah, pushed it to 61-54. Seven minutes and 25 seconds left in this encounter. And here comes Utters. A steal here by Puss. Long outlet pass to Rasai. Pass. Rasai gives it to Coy. I thought we were going to see one of the, the yes. old hard flying. Yes, but, but of he, course. He just simply rested in. So here comes Utters. Bogle. Bogle. Over to Weeks. Weeks with the long one. No good. Rebound. Qualis. Being pressured there. Pass it to Puss. Puss to Rasai. Rasai losing control. Still have it. Picked up by Quinlan to the Souza. No good. But Rasai with the rebound. Black there. Oh my. Things getting a little out of hand here in the fourth quarter for Potters. Lincoln Weeks. No good. But here comes Potters. Oh, what a touchback pass. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, beautiful. A beautiful touchback pass there by Cohen D'Souza to Qualis for the easy two. Give the, ass the assist to Cohen. It is now 65-54 in favor of Potters Steelers with six minutes and six seconds remaining in the game. Wow, well, I'm telling you, it's, um, I'm, 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 I like the look of Potters. They just really got to get the band. They have a lot of men on the bench. They have a lot of leaders. I see they are a member of parliament. Um, Mr. Kelvin Shuggy Simon, uh, one of my former assistant managers way back in 2007 with the national team. Um, and I'm seeing, hey, I'm seeing um, uh, H. Wright, um, Y. Wright. We've seen a lot of guys on that bench. And, and the thing is, um, you see, we, I, I looked at them earlier and I, I, I said this to myself. On paper, it's a good team. Yes. On paper. Um, you're hoping that the coach, having yes. all those guards, okay. will be able to, you know, find the right spots. Mix the right the, chemistry. The chemistry yes. and the right spots too. Yes. To play players. Can you look at um, like uh, Mr. Pete's. Right. Aishan Pete's a shooter. Shooter. But right. he needs minutes on the court in order to get that rhythm. To get that rhythm. He's not like a, a, a microwave, a nice drive there by Kwame Payne. And, 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 and you, you, you just came because Rasai and Qualis only entered the game in the second half. So, wow. Yes, so the coach, he, he has a lot on his hand. He has to find how to get that chemistry, who is going to be who, and when you're going to use them. Because it's, you're talking about talented players. You're not talking about just players. Yeah, they're talented they players. guys that can get the job. Yes, done. yeah, I'm telling you. Um, uh, that, 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 that sometimes it's a... It's a, it's a curse and a blessing yes, to, have yes. a, to have that type of talent on your bench. Yes. Um, but the thing, someone, when I came in the park, someone said to me, um, the coach, they have a great guy, they're looking here, they're looking at the manager, you know, he's a demonstrative guy, we know in, uh, in Sharky Lewis, and they're saying, maybe the game has passed Deadly Henry um, to have this talent. Uh, we don't know. And this... This also is just like Rasai. This is the second stint with Potters. He was with Potters yes, uh, yes, also. Yes, yes, So they've gone back. We're not going to say they go back to their vomit. But we have gone back to the coach. That's right. And he has a lot of experience. Um, I think he was one of the top players way back in the 70s. Top player? I was I, told. I, 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 I never heard his name when it comes to top players. Or maybe it's Pan I was talking okay, about. Okay, yes, yes. In Pan, <laughs> yes, I, I've heard his name. Oh, Rasai, with that Pan. Well, hey, we don't know, but that's a great team. It's good to see that Chucky Lewis has assembled an Arsenal. I hope it's not like Arsenal up there out of London uh, because they've, they lost that lead today. I'm telling you, uh, oh, boy. You know, I, I was an Arsenal fan when I'm talking fast for sport. I was an Arsenal fan when Thierry Henry was playing. And you know, once they were leading, no one would have caught them. But it's sad to see today... With a game in hand, I'm seeing that Manchester City has taken the lead. Oh, my. 
But we're talking about sports, people. We're talking about everything. We may talk about T20 cricket here. That's right. Because that's I, right. I was watching that T20 cricket live on TV. And I'm saying, the, 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 the men, the Black Hawks, they were in, they snatched defeat from the jaws of victory last night. The I'm saying, Say the, that again. Say that again. The Liberta Black Hawks snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. They were leading. They had that game pivoted for them. And Empire Nation, with our, I, I hope that they, I'm saying it right, under the captaincy of Mr. Atenes, Justin Atenes. Yes, yes, correct. They grabbed the hey, They said catches win matches. And they did a wonderful job. They turned the screws. Because no matter what, ladies and gentlemen, basketball is the real love. But cricket is the first love. And I'm telling you, they played a wonderful game. They represented, as they said, the Gwen Gwen, the Grace Farm, Grace Green area. God bless. And I'm telling you, they're the one. And the others are big up. We're bigging up, of course, my brother, Amir Harani, and Keenan, and the whole Harani family. You know, sometimes I'm called the Black Harani. But uh, you, you, you are sometimes called the Black Harani. That's what you just said. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. But I'm the poor, I'm the poor side. I'm the poor side. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, but I, it was a fantastic tournament. It was a fantastic tournament. And I think, of course, sports is back. I, we want sports to be back. I want sports to be back in all spheres, even in marble. Because I'm hearing down in the Alba games that we won. The only medal that we won, I'm told, is a silver medal by Miss Carol Bino. In dominoes. in dominoes. So that's a mind sport. Right. So that's great. We took what 23 member team down to Venezuela. I'm told they should be arriving at the second of May. When is the second? Day after tomorrow, Tuesday. So we're hoping that um, maybe we I get some more news that we want some more medals. But so far, what I've been hearing coming out of Venezuela, Bennett Solano, that Carol Bino, Miss Carol Bino, was. Um, took home or will bring home the silver medal. Well, congratulations to her in doing a, a, a wonderful job to earn herself that medal. Yes. I Coach Super, I just want to know, I was told that we're having some sort of cool effect tonight. I didn't realize, did we have a March Pass? I'm seeing some other teams in uniform. So did we have a March Pass? Oh, we, we they, they, they started the night with a, 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 a short opening ceremony. Okay. So what, what, what happened is they had a representative for each team, sat there on the chair, um, and we just had a, a, a short opening, which was lovely. Okay. Um, short and different. straight to the point. Was my minister here? The Mr. Minister, Honorable no, I, um, there, there was Martin. an apology for him because he's overseas. Oh, okay, okay. Well, right. that's understood because I know my minister, this is basketball. We had, uh, Mr. Neil Cochran from the, uh, the Olympic, Olympic Committee. The, I think he's the first or second vice president. Yes, first vice president. And oh, I hope he wasn't. I hope he wasn't talking about horses. No, 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 no. He he was just talking friend. about his their commitment to basketball, um, and 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 and, and, and things like that to okay, great. help you know carry the sport of basketball. Ex and excellent, excellent. Well, I'm good. And, and and while I I went up and said something as well, and I let him know um earlier that you know basketball is the number one sport in Antigua. Yes, yes, and without a doubt. Without a doubt. Hands down. And, and, and I can go further and say it's the most exciting sport That's in the, the world. world. That's the word, yes. The greatest sport ever invented. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine you and 11 of your friends playing a game and everyone can participate. That's right. We can't say the same for cricket. We can't say the same for football. No. Some football numbers are what now? 23 or 25 mm -hmm. um, on a roster. And we still only have three subs. No, I think it's yeah, about five. Five now? Yeah. I, I, but yet still someone... I could is, be corrected, but I think it's up to five. Uh, someone is still going to go home disappointed. <laughs> and and they, they can't sub in and out like basketball. That's it. The greatest game ever invented. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that was a sucker shot there by Carl Quam, Carl Quinlan. I think the defense is lacking on the um, the men from the from Potters. Oh, but Rasai says no. We have a little defense. Shoot the gap there. Um, we have two minutes and 39 seconds. Yes, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes and 39 seconds left in this encounter. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we can't. We, all this would not have been possible. That's 
We of course without ACB Caribbean Parish League and of course Mr. Charles in the house and his team doing a wonderful job. The best optics, the best cameramen, everything. I, I tell you, I, must, hey, agree. Not, I, mean, hey, listen, I must agree. I took part. I was here assisting Mr. Luki, Luke Lucas Boomant with the Jillian Brazier. And when I, I sat in and I watched the whole setup, hey, one night Mr. Charles wasn't here and the young man was here by himself and he was touching all the buttons. Listen. And I'm asking him, how does he do it? And hey, everything, we did not miss no run of play whatsoever. Listen, it was the young man alone. Yes. And he set each camera in a position yes, in the angle. that the, he did not miss a the flow, beat. The flow of the I, game. I'm telling you, I was here and I'm like, yeah. This guy is a professional. Yeah, man. The man on boss, not the a professional. They call that his name. They say he's boss. Yes. Caribbean. Excellent job, Mr. 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 I Charles. tell you. Yes, man. So, you know, we turned up the thing. Last time we tried someone else. And I said, we got to go to Parish League. Parish League understands the sport. They're not the same. They're not the same. Novices coming in this game. Mr. Charles has been around. I think with it is Mahaiko. Mahaiko, he's a Mahaiko man. All right, he all may right. be getting some licks now with the cricket, but it's all part of the sport. Jake the snake. With a strong drive there. And he will go to the line for two. The yes. score is 67 60 in favor of Potters Steelers. Jake the snake, I've seen that the Potters men have dug into their pockets again and have um, and gone for the, um, the import. Jake the snake out of the USA. And I'm sure he's glad. He said, when he came back, I saw him the other night over the court. He said, hey, I'm back at home. I said, wow, you Americans not easy. You, you know, I, I must say something about the sponsor for Potter Steelers. Yes. Total Imports. Yeah, I love um, them. Total Imports. I, I think that the owner for that is... Mr. Darryl George. Darryl George, George. A basketball man. Right. He used to play basketball back in the days. Um, yeah. He attended the Clay Hall Secondary. Yes, yes. You know, and he played center while he was playing. All right. I, I, I'm saying... When this it, it man is given back, you know, to the sport that he once played as a businessman now, I, I, I must say, listen, if you have anything you want to bring in, you're shopping online. I'm telling you, the best place for you to go as a basketball player, as a fan of basketball, yes. is true total, total imports. imports. So check Daryl out there. Take Total, Without imports, out. Up total there. imports up there. And um, we're going to say the old name, Factory Road. Factory Road. But Just on the left. Um, is it? So Sydney Wallen, because George Walter carries you, to, as I say, to old, you know, George Walter carries you to VC Bird. <laughs> they're old friends, even in debt, they're still aligned. Oh. <laughs> Shake the snake, looks like he's bodied. Goes to the line to shoot two. Will he extend this nine point lead? It's two minutes flat on the clock. Will the men from Otters make a comeback? Will they cool off the men, the Steelers of Potters? We're seeing they're bringing in the six million dollar man, um, Rasai Harris, uh, making an exit. Um, he doesn't look too happy. I'm gonna say it straight. Listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, man. I'm gonna tell you this is not gonna be easy. Some people might feel offended, <clears throat> but Lord has given me another chance, and I'm gonna speak the truth. I'm gonna speak what Jesus loved, the truth. I, and but, if I see it, I'm gonna tell you what it is. But but the thing is, I, I'm saying that. When you're at the age of 46, that's it. It's going to be better for you to get your rest. Yeah, yeah. Manage, load management. Load management. You know, yeah. so you can hey, you help even, your team even more yeah. when you're put back on. Even the, the, even the LeBron has load management, but um, Rush, I said no. He's fitter than LeBron. Maybe he spends more than a million dollars on his body. Um. <laughs> and LeBron, if you realize, LeBron is a smart player. Yeah. Because when you look at game five, LeBron decides he's not playing hard that game. No. And, and that's cool. why you see the Grizzlies beat up the Lakers like that. But then yes. now come the, the sixth one. Yeah, with the money. Over. And I told somebody that. I said, you must remember, the La um, NBA cannot make money unless the Lakers are doing well. <laughs> Straight up. If it's a down year for the Lakers, the NBA is going to be in the red. So now that the Lakers, and I said, this game is going to go at least to six because NBA has to make a change before from, from LeBron because the most they have is what, two more years, you think? He will play? I say one. And I don't even give him a full year. Yeah, yeah. They said he's waiting on his son, but his son is not of that pedigree. 
And we have to recognize that and speak the truth. <laughs> it looks like he Kwame, Kwame Payne, like he got chipped out by um by his by, own move? By a stone. <laughs> oh, there's a little um, chicken wing move there. Carl Bowling Knight, of course, that veteran, knowing that move that he used to do himself, made that yeah, call. Um, and, and you're correct. Yes, Charles. You know, as as a, a past player who used to use those same tricks. Those, those little, those nasty moves. And now he's move. a referee and he's blowing yes. the cards and players using the tricks. The that tricks he that he got away use. with. Yeah, like a Dennis Rodman kind of style. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. He knows all. He says the nuances of the game. <laughs> you know, these are, he, all his moves were within the rules of the game, he said. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. But it's an eight point hey. lead. McCoy basketball is back. McCoy. Basketball is back, I'm and, and I'm back. so happy. My wife will be happy because I'll be even more happy at home because basketball is back. That's so. That's how. That's the effect that it has on me. Plus has it number ten. Drives, get some contact. It's not some contact. He got all the contact that Michael had to give. Yeah, I, I, it was I, almost a nasty play. Yeah, I didn't like that foul at all. I didn't like, and, and then he goes, goes up, and, and now yeah, he's trying to. You you can't purpose dab him up. That kind of foul. Yeah, you want injure you know me, and then and say then you know, in sportsmanship, sport. No man, make a basketball play, and yes. I don't know, take it like that. that. That should not. That should not have been a, a regular foul there. That should have been a um, intentional foul, and I, I um, give the player two shots and the ball back. Oh my! Simmons with the basket. We have to tell Puss. The basket isn't moving. He missed the whole cylinder. Well, I was told by the weather, weather um, personnel that West Wind will be blowing tonight. West Wind. So that's why. That's West Wind. Why. I love that one. <laughs> West Wind. So how many teams do we have in the, in the first division? Well, I was told eight. Eight teams. Eight so teams. we have these so two teams. two playing here. These two. And we have ovals and Spanish sheet coming that's up. four. Uh, we, have we, have fly, we have stingers. Flyers. Flyers. Uh-huh. We have... Slam, slam also and slam. Braves. And Braves, okay. Yes. It's going to be a doozy. Is it going to be like um, I was told, um, I was watching some sport. Oh, I was watching Formula One. Hey, I watch everything. I'm a sportsman in everything. That's right, we know that. Right? <clears throat> and they have the top tier, the middle tier, and the lower tier. Who's going to be in the lower tier? Or who's going to be in the middle tier? Well, I, I guess when we see the, others, the, the other teams play, we can, you know, make that as, uh, assumption. But for now, if we look at these two teams, we already see that Utters is on the lower tier. Yeah, is it that they're going to be on the water or is it just going to... They really got to battle every night. They have to battle. You know, and, and they have to get in shape as well too. Yeah, yeah. They were hoping to blend with the, uh, with the, the younger team that did so well in second division. Uh, but um, the, 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 the senior players that have returned, really, uh, we can count the amount of points that they score on one hand. That's right. And that's been real. Well, I, 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 I agree with you. Because even with this game, um, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that the score is so close. Yeah. I, I, I must be honest. I'm kind of shocked that the, the, the game is... Because I know Patters... Potters have been preparing for this a while. They're coming so high for Ayani. Yeah. They've been preparing, yes, they ever. And. Wow. Michael for three. Misses. Michael Barton takes it. Bogo for three. Misses. A ball. As usual. Um, anyway, A ball. So 16.6 seconds left. It's so I think I see the fat lady. She's getting ready to go on the platform, and she's she's wearing the red. Um, I'm not going to say anything because tomorrow's Labor Day, but she's wearing the red. Um, and I think the fat lady is singing tonight because the Potter Sealers, are sponsored by Total Imports. No, total imports. Total imports. Will look like they would walk away with this victory here with 15.4 seconds left in the opening encounter of the 2023, finally, Division I basketball season. That guy in our tonight? One chase, one is fine. Do you have a home plus? Me behind my only, I hear me come to see. 
Long, yeah, a long pass to Bogle with a 30 footer. Misses. Rebound to Coy to Mr. D'Souza. 72 65 will be the game. Yes, and it's all over here. The first game of the 2023 Ababa First Division. Potter Steelers, 72. Utters, full charter. 65. Remember, don't touch that dial because game two, game two, Spanish Sheet comes up against Overs OJs. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a few. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with the victorious coach, Mr. Wayne Deadly Henry, um, of the Potter Steelers. How do you feel after that game, opening up the 2023 season, sir? Well, let, let's just say it's the first game of the season. Um, I know that the guys would have been a little flat coming out. We didn't play up to, you know, what, up to our potential, really. But I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I know it's the first game. We're a little flat. Well, we got it right. Hey, you're, you're looking over there on the bench. You have a lot of talent. Oh, um, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Some yeah. say it may be a blessing. Some say it can be a curse. <laughs> but I say if anyone can handle it, it's got to be deadly. Well, of course. I mean, what, what, I, what I'm having, I'm getting the respect from the guys. Oh. The guys listen to me and, you know, Buju as the captain, you know, um, keep the, really keep the team under control. So, so you are I have no tell problem. Me, you bring Buju from another team out of retirement and making captain still? Well, of course. I mean, uh, it, we need, we need, we need the experience, you know. Yes. And you have to have an experienced man to, to um, steer this squad. I mean, everybody on this squad, you know, look up to Buzu. Yeah. And once we, we he they understand that he's the captain for the team. I mean, everything with us go well. Yeah, I think Buzu Bajan is one of the better players that we've had in a generation. Oh, of course, for years. Straight for up, years Buzu has been have been carrying steering the ship. So. You know, nothing new for him. Well, hey, coach, we wish you all the best for the upcoming season. Yeah. You're looking good, the bright uniforms, yeah. new sponsors, yeah. you know, new beginnings. And thank you very much. Okay, all the best, yeah. coach. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go and do a quick interview with the man, the myth, the legend. Marlon Boucher Charles, you have left the Oval setup and you have gone to the new home, um, Total Imports, Potter Steelers. Well, well and truly, yes. But Potter really welcomed me with open arm. I was on my way to retire and Chuck said, look, give me a year. And out of respect, I give him a year. 
Over. Okay, yeah. So you just give in a year, but I'm um, of course you're gonna do some damage this year. I see. I assume, and you're gonna bring some more excitement into the 2023 Division One. Yes, sir. but you know we have a little young squad. The guys and we just get the team together, and we can do it as a team. We practice, but you know the first game. We look shaky, but we're going to get it there. All right, my brother. All the best, you know, for 2023. Thank you very much. Okay, man. All the best, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. We have more exciting basketball action. I'm joined, of course, by um, Coach Super. What's the next action we have on the court? Well, the next action is supposed to be a big action. A doozy. Because it's English versus Spanish. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yes, it's the Overs Old Jays. The, the, the two-time defending champions, Ovals OJs. Uh -huh. The only thing that stopped Ovals was COVID. COVID. The only thing that stopped. Only thing Ovals. that stopped. And they've been retooled, and we, we saw the exit of of um, um, Bujo, Bujo Charles and Brian Matthews is now no longer as he's injured. I'm here. He's on the injured reserve. So it's um, a new look, Ovals OJs. Well, hey. New look, old look, is still OJ's. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Exciting basketball action coming in ahead. That's why. Right.
Richards, Darius Richards. Only <laughs> number twenty four, Stephen Matthew. Number eight, Antonio Cruz. Number twenty seven, Rolando Hamilton. And of course, we're in number six. Calvin Pubbleton representing Spanish Heat, the 2023 Division II champions. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, please greet welcome to the two-time defending champions. Only COVID could stop them. They come from the Ovals area. They're sponsored by a lot of sponsors. Wow. LNL Supplies Limited, Bar Stock Limited, Extreme Gym, Antigua Ergonomics Limited, and of course, the longest sponsor of ABBA, the Honorable Ted Roy Cutie Benjamin. Let's greet welcome to champion, the new look, Ovals OJs. Wearing the number 13 jersey, Javon Simon. Number five, Judah Ferris. Number two, Delonge Drew. Number seven, Baldwin, Anthony Jr., better known as Slim. Number eight, the return, Donald Arsil. Number 10, Delonte Phillip. Number 13, Mr. Nikon McGregor. And of course, we can't have anything without the man known as Beef. And Ken J, Beef, Drew. The starters. Ha. Wow, who do you call first? Wearing the number three jersey, Tavares, Killer, Benta. Number 15, all the way from Baltimore, Maryland, Joy, Spider, Vasco. Making the return back home. Home is where the heart is, they say. Kareem Mackerel Edwards, number four. And of course, we got to big up the big man, the return. Alexis Lex. <laughs> Jackson, number 11. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most exciting players in basketball, all the way from Missouri, the man known as Joshua J. Lou Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, QT's Ovals OJs. Touch gloves, gentlemen, and come out swinging. Tonight's officials we have Mr. Andy Bass. Mr. Brian and um, wait a minute, to to to
playing with his hands. And of course, that, that's, uh, that's about the third foul. Well, it's 14 to 8. OJ is with the lead. But Spanish Sheet, they're still hanging around. And Spanish Sheet should be in some sort of rhythm because they have, been, they have played recent basketball in, and they're the Division II champions. Here's Joshua Minna. Here's a shot for three. No good. Again, Stephen Matthews McCoy, he has two fouls. And um, I'm, I'm wondering if, 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 this, if the coach for the Spanish Sheet is not really checking the table to find out. What, is he the correct coach? Am I seeing why? Is that, that's the gentleman that's always running the bench? No, I'm, I think the first time I'm seeing him on the bench down there standing. That's not a good one. No, not at all. The crowd is just waiting, pensive, for something to happen. Drew goes up. Looks like he was bodied there. <laughs> and no foul. Uh, but he's Machu. Machu with the basketball. Drives in. And could be another blocking foul on Jackson. Let's see. Oh, he says two. It's going to be two shots. <laughs> Who's that I'm not sure. Let's see. Is it Jackson? We're not sure. Two is two. Two is um, Drew. Yes, it's Jackson. That's two fouls. Come on. That's that, that. Why is Jackson putting his hand in there? This is his night to come out and let everyone know that he's the man with the plan. But clearly, the plan seems to be going awry right now. First one good for Matthew. Yes, Spanish sheet. Newly promoted team into the first division. Holding their own against the defending champion. Oh, look at that. Oh, my. Oh, my, my, my. It's a turnover. I told so, you I wanted to see what the bench was going to be like when, when, they, got in, when they get on the court. The hey, first five is strong. Yeah. But it's all about digging into the deep into the bench. Yeah, just a little nerves, Mr. Knight. Just a little nerves. the bench they just got to play state discipline um uh, as you said we know that jackson is in foul trouble uh mackerel i guess needed a breeder uh, but uh, uh the, the thing about it when you're on the bench you should be watching what's happening in the game so it, it makes it easy when you're coming to make that transition well you can give you can give it all the nice words you want to give it mccoy uh, but it's all about we know the manpower we know how deep that, that, that bench is. There might be a lot of guys sitting there, but we know the, the, the talent, we know the skill level. And that's why I made that statement and said, let me see what happened when they started digging to the bench. All right. It's 14 12. Yes. Spanish Sheet is right back in this game. Definitely. They got to play to their strength. You see, and I think that's what happens. Mr. Knight, you will tell me, you're a former national point guard and a true legend. You, you got to take what the defense gives you sometimes instead of just running a play. Not true? Well, yeah, definitely so. You, you, the, the reason you will run a play is to get open. Yes. And if you open, you open. That was Thank a you. big rebound there. By Philip, young Philip. By Philip. <clears throat> and it's put back. So it's a three-arm, an and-one play. It, it was. You know, you know, Philip is a big dude. He is big, uh, McCoy. Yeah, yes. His, um, you know, he was overseas for a while, of a spell, and now he's back home. And um, he decided to come on home to the Oval Zojays. Well, that is good. He misses the free throw. Oh, right into the arms of Javon. Swings it inside to Vasco. Vasco goes up, and he's fouled by number Hamilton. 27, Hamilton. So Hamilton, that should be his first foul. We're going to see um, the indicator from, from, the, from the table. So Hamilton is out, and we're seeing, uh, is that, that, that's Carlos? Two shots. They're getting a little ahead of themselves. And uh, we're seeing a little blend. Um, I know that Richards played with the Spanish sheet during the um, business league, and he's back. Well, he is back. You know, a crafty um, player, really knows fundamentally, but well, that's good defense. 
This time, drives, misses. Vasco is all over the ball, but Pimentel comes away with it. Swings it into the air, but look out. Ooh. Ooh, this is this. The ball see what went the ball off the be because he didn't touch it. J. Lou was trying a bit too much. He should have been playing with his teammates. But he, he's walking away. Let's see what the ref is going to blow. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. We're waiting, but we saw but something. It's a long pass to Richards. Richards still with the basketball. Richards still with it. Looking for someone. Swings it across, but broken up there. Oh, oh. Shooting the gap there, a little the defense there, but lost control, Mr. Drew. It was the, a good effort there defensively, you, you, you know, but he wanted to do too many things with the ball before, um, you know. Get getting, the control. Getting the ball under control. So we see, yes, um, Castro, Vladimir Castro, has on a lot of weight now. Well, Stephen, there seems to be some contact. But no call. Vasco has it. Secures the ball. Look for his teammate, Javon Simon. The officer drives. Pass it to Philip. Philip with a fadeaway for two. Number 10. Count it. He's well, pleased with himself. Well, he must be pleased because um, uh, what, he's what, two for two? He's looking real sharp. But, but, but what's that? He's That's out of control. Over. Vladimir out of control. Well, Javon Simon, he, he's playing the point guard role. I don't understand that. I thought I would see a little bit more pressure on the ball. Uh, but they were, they're allowing him to do what he wants with the basketball. But he, I but think Spanish Heat should put a little bit more pressure on the point guard. Yeah, but I, I think what happens here, um, Simon uh, would have been teammates with, um, with Vladimir and some of these other guys. So he would have been accustomed to playing with them. So the pressure they would have put, he would have eaten that up. This is one of your, one of your guys, Rares. Is that Jesus Rares? Well, I like him, you know. I think he's a pretty crafty player. So they're in the penalty. So Simon goes to the free throw line yeah. to shoot too. You know, they just need to settle it down a little bit. Guys are trying to move too quick without the ball and you know, leading to some untimely turnovers. Yeah, 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 both teams are just a little tight. But again, McCoy, um, hey, Again, this is Division One, the start of Division One. This is game number two. The opening night of the 2023 season. We've been waiting so long for basketball, for good basketball. Oh my, Drew, what does he, does he wait? He goes, he attacks and gets the, the layup. You know, that's his strength, that's his strength. You Open know, he's pretty, um, he, he really has some hops. He can get up into the air. Oh no, that's a push in the back. <laughs> Look at, oh my! It looked like he had the, ball, the lost control of what the ball. What a floater! <laughs> Minna has it. Man from Missouri. 20 seconds on in the game, uh, the quarter. And that's a ah, big three. Javon Simon for three. Count it. He's hot like anything right now. 25-14, 10 seconds left. Kelvin Pummerton. And that will be the last basket of the quarter. 25-16, the Ovals men are enjoying the, this lead. Well, it was a good quarter for the Ovals team. You know, the, um, there have been some, a lot of substitution compared to Coach Bradbury Brown. Well, they went into the bench because they, 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 they because Jackson picked up two um, early fouls. Yes, yes. And so he definitely had to go into the bench. But I like what I'm seeing so far. Um, Coach Brown um, um, went into the bench, and the benchers um, come up. They've answered the call. They responded positively, especially Philip and and, and Javan. They're looking good. Yes.
See this guy just come and get up. Yeah. Why this? I talk to me and everyone. They can see vexation now. Nobody know who's in what over there. Come back. Don't know nothing. You wait until you come here now. Yo, I want to do an interview with the national head coach half time. Don't I answer? What you can't do? We're back, we ladies and gentlemen. Start of the second quarter. Oh, the, oh, that's a silly turnover. The, the pressure is really getting to Spanish Street. Here's Josh. And another Not turnover. He should not have gone to two. Let's see what happens. Anthony. Tavares. Tiptoes for the tree throw. No. Vladimir with Reyes on the run. With the Euro step. For two counted. That was a beautiful transition game there. Nice pass, good finish. Vasco. Oh, he's gonna go for three. He's feeling it. <laughs> That's the second one. I think he's biting off more than he can chew. Maybe not as he's chewing chewing gum. <laughs> but nine, nine minutes AD. left. Pimento. Trying to set his team up. Here's a shot for three. Short. The ball is back in control. He puts up a long one and he knocks it down. That's he an ambitious shot. That was an ambitious shot. Well, you know, when you have the confidence that you, you, you can knock it down, knock it down. All right. 20 at 10 point lead, 28 18. Vladimir drives. He was fouled in the act of shooting, and we go to the free throw line to shoot too. Vladimir has to understand this is not second division basketball, and he needs to get his team involved. You know, yeah. you just can't take it, take it to the rim all the time. Move the basketball around. It's good that basketball is back, Mr. Knight. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm happy. My wife is happy because I'm happy at home now that Division One basketball is back. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm happy that you're happy and your wife is happy. And, and the whole nation is happy. Yeah. <laughs> but um, did you get to see... Oh, nice pass inside. Oh, good pass. Pimental fakes. And he goes up strong. That was a good, good, good effort there. Good combination there by Spanish Heat. We need to see some more of that. Yeah, hey... And Pimento caught two overs, OJs, flying. 28-18. Pimento goes to the line. Big free throws coming up. 
But this is what I'm saying, Mr. Knight. It's a new look. It's a new look over Zojays. And I'm expecting that the young fellas will step up their play and expect them because they've been waiting in the wings for so long. Oh, nice rebound there. Nice rebound there by the Spanish player. And the stick back. Here's Josh for three. Puts it up. Boom! Knocks it down. Josh Ramina is in the house. 31 21 is the score. OJ's with the lead. This is Division I basketball. Is it going to be a block and foul on Tavares Benta? Thirty-one twenty-one is the score. Seven forty-one to go. Over Zojes in the orange, Spanish sheet in the blue, and um, a little bit of purple. Here's the shot for three. In and out. Big rebound there by Philip, but poked out of bounds, and it goes over to Ojes. So here's Benta. Benta finds Mina. Mina pulls up for three again. Look out. What up? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Joshua Mina is in the house and he knocks it down. Nothing but net. Nice defense. But here's a pass. Oh, it's going to be backcourt. Oh. Yes, it is. Turnover. So good pressure there being applied by Oval Zojes, the defending champion, coming out strong here in their first game at the JSC Sporting Complex. Division One basketball, the screen comes. Joshua with the ball, goes baseline, goes up, beats his man, and he scores. What a move by Mena. That's why they sent for him all the way from New York City, baby, because he has the goods, and he's delivering right now, McCoy. All the way from Missouri. Yes, yes, he's doing what he's, he came here to do. He has a job. The job is to lead over Zojays to victory to another championship. Well, um, and of course, to, to help blood the young fellas, the young bloods. You know, you know, McCoy, I'm listening to you sound like an OJ's fan. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm a fan of basketball. You're a fan of basketball. Okay. <laughs> I will live with that. Well, we see some substitutions coming in. In comes uh, the number five, Judah Ferris. Uh, for Baldwin, Spen Baldwin Anthony. <laughs> Baldwin Anthony Jr., yes. Uh, <laughs> said his nickname is Slim. Okay. 36 to 23. Spanish Street need to make a stop now. They need to apply some defense now. Mina has it, finds Philip. Philip swings it over to Ferris. Ferris puts up a three. Oh my! Um, are you kidding me? I never <laughs> knew that Ferris had that in his arsenal. Uh, he, a big three. Yeah, he, that's like um, the microwave. Freddie Johnson. I watched him play second place, second division. I saw him play about 15 games. I never saw oh, him just on a three. Big steal here by Judah Ferris. Here's Mina, swings it inside, nice pass and Oh, Vasco! Spider Vasco! With That's a kiss of the backboard. Well, he's doing it all. He's finding the open player. He's knocking down the... That's what true leadership is all about. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Kelvin. Misses. That ball stays with the Spanish man. Spanish heat. Oh, well, everyone is going to be playing tonight for Overs OJs. I'm just seeing Nick and McGregor reporting at the table. Well, Overs I, OJs, I, 41. I tell you what. 23 to the Spanish Heat. I, I, I'm impressed. I am. I, I'm impressed. Um, you I, know, I, I've watched this coach coach for many years. Yes, yes. And I've never seen him gone this deep into a bench. Never. I'm so early. I'm this, impressed. Is it a rebirth of Bradbury Brown? Well, uh, or is uh, it an epiphany? 
I don't, I don't know those words you're calling there, but I'm, I just think that um, I like how he's really um, digging into the bench there, you know, giving everyone a little taste of the action. And, and, and so, uh, hey, I'm impressed so far. Yes, and I'm, that means when I'm going into the bench this deep, um, practice will be well attended because everyone will be happy that they got a sweat and everyone saw them on the court. And, and, and we see Donnell just checking in, number eight, Donnell. He's checking in for the first time. Yeah, so Donnie really, Lazio. Truly, when I look at the bench, I think everyone um, has got a case of the... Well, uh, uh, Juice probably an assistant coach. Drew <laughs> <laughs> is all right. And Kenji Drew. <laughs> beef, the great beef. He has a following. Here's a shot for three. No good. Mr. Bente comes away with the basketball. Bente has it still. Bente with the basketball. Still, Bente goes up and he's fouled. In the act of shooting. So it's an 18 point lead here. Will Bente push it to 20? You know, 41 23. You know, McCoy, you know, what, what, what I would like to see as they, they, they get deep into these games, I would like to see Bent, you know, some more pressure being applied to Bent and see how he can I see how he handles yeah, it. Yeah, we want to see that because, of course, Mr. Knight, I know you're speaking to see how we re react. And of course, um, hopefully he will be in the final selection for national duty later on in the summer. And um, of course, he needs to be tested. Well, he's and going to be playing the point guard position. He has a lot of work to do. Well, hey, that's why you're here, Mr. Knight. And I know that you will be lending your... <laughs> wow, that's a foul. Is that traveling or foul? That's a, that's a blocking foul. All right, just want to know. And the big man, Hamilton. Hamilton just putting that big body on, the, on Benta. So he's saying, make sure my fouls count? That's what he's doing? Well, I don't know about that, but um, the guy's just big. You know, you know, sometimes when you're big like that, you, you know what I mean? You, you, you're not applying much pressure. But he was so small that he bounced off, and, uh, <laughs> but he's up again. 42-23. Overs, OJs, Ferris, thought about it, pulls up. Swings it across court to McGregor. McGregor puts his head down, drives. He misses. Nice outlet pass to Matthew. Matthew with the basketball. He drives it strong, misses the layup. But right there is his teammate, and he puts it back in. So big basket here, but Spanish Sheet needs to make some stops now. They're moving the ball well. Donald. Oh, that's a nice pass inside. Oh, Ooh, that's a good block there. Back to Jackson. Jackson swings it across into the arms of McGregor. Come on, he was open. McGregor is afraid to shoot. Down. Come on, Ferris. You went to the well too much time. Yeah, but McGregor is a shooter. At least he put, he counts his, calls himself a shooter, and he was afraid to. It was like hot potato. <laughs> well, I think that's one of the problems I've had with him, you know, throughout the past season. You, you know, he he's supposed to be a shooter. And when he gets open shots, he's turning them down. You, you know, you got to play for your, your spot right now. And yeah, so when you big. get out there, you better knock the shots down or you're going to be sitting at the end of the bench. Definitely. Yeah, so basketball is back right here at JSC. I think we continue on, on, on Thursday? Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, What's yes. Thursday night. Saturday night, Sunday night, right here at JSC, Thursday. basketball. Double back. headers all night? all night? I think so. All right. So the first game most likely will be 645. So come on out. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend. Tell everyone to join us here at um, ACB Parish League on Facebook Live. McGregor, without any rhythm. O'Donnell dies. The effort of a says it. Ooh! Good try. That's a lot of bodies being banged there. Here's a pass. He goes up. Nice reverse shot, but he misses. Block shot. Not enough English on that shot. Here's McGregor. But McGregor looks a little um, thick tonight. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> right through the hands of butter. Uh, you say McGregor looks a little bit thick? Thick. Maybe it's a uniform. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think he's a little bit out of shape. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you know, McCoy, it's good to be back in the country, yeah. man. You know, I'm you, man. This, man. I, I, I miss this. I miss, you know, commentating these games, you know, because um, we have some very excited games ahead. Yes, definitely. The matchups are going to be crazy this year. <laughs> um, the, I, I love the uniforms. The teams have put themselves out. 
to look really nice in their uniforms, I must say. So now, and the crowd, the technical is back, and I know we're going to be building uh, from strength to strength, and um, once the word gets out, that basketball and the level of basketball, the exciting level, they're going to come out in the numbers. Well, it's all about the players. The players, have, they, they got to de deliver the goods so that the fans will come out. Here's a cross court pass to McGregor. McGregor swings it to, to Edwards. Edwards puts it down, loses it into the arms of Macho. Macho swings it ahead. Nice pass to his teammate. He turns, spins, and he drew the foul on Azil. Donnell, Donnell said, you're too close to me. Take this. 42-26 is the score. We still have three minutes and 16 seconds to go in this first half. Um, in the early game, we, this is the second game of our matchup this evening. Yes, yes. In the first game, uh, between the... Um, uh, the between the um, total, total imports, part of Steelers was victorious over the Kennedys, Arthur's Coolers. Yes, yes. 72-65. Yes, the EMC e total import. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, yes. was EMC total imports. Part of Steelers. Yeah. And Kennedy's Steeler Nation. Oh, here's a turnover. Matching with the basketball. Swings to the head. Oh my. He comes in. He goes, oh, what a pass back. And he scores. Good transition play. Timeout on the floor. Over as OJs. They need to talk about this. Yes, Coach Bradbury Brown doesn't like what he's saying. He's just going to reinforce a point to them. And I'm. Um, <laughs> Well, back with play. Javon Simon inside uh, to Jackson. Jackson has it. Being triple team. Swings it to Simon. Simon puts up a three. He misses, and they go the other way. Pimento. It's 42 to 29. OJs with the lead. That's Ovals, Cuties, Ovals, OJs. Pimento has it at the top of the key. Inside to Hamilton. Hamilton puts his head down, swings it to his teammate. He goes up, and he misses. That was a good possession there of my the Spanish sheep, but they need to convert. Simon stripped. And he goes down. 42-29. It's Ovals OJs versus Spanish Sheet. OJs in the orange. This is the opening night of Division I basketball right here at JSC in Antigua. Jackson drives. A little bit out of control there. No control of the body. Yeah, he has no lift at all. Right into traffic. Machu looking for the seam. Swings it to Pimentel. Pimentel fakes, looking for the foul. There is none. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you. A minute 58 to go in the first half. Yeah, at the half, I'm told that we're going to be doing an interview with the national, co national coach, Mr. George Hughes Esquire. Machi for three. A long one. That's from way downtown. Here comes Benta. Benta races down court. He still has the basketball. He's open. He swings it to McGregor. McGregor. Puts it up. He misses. Can't find a bucket yet. 
Oh, the save, that's Donnell. What, that's what Donnell can do. Yes. He's a hard worker around the, the rim, yes. both offensively and defensively. It's good to see that's a basketball, a long time coming. 44-29. Spanish Heat. Sign Orlando spins like a top, clears the way, and makes the layup. You know, when you see a, a guy 300 and uh, maybe 15 pounds coming your way, you know what I mean? Yeah, you you got to get out of the way. Give him some space. Definitely. McGregor has it. Looks inside to Jackson. Jackson pivots, turn, faced up. Jackson goes baseline, swings to the top of the K. Bente is open. Jackson with the rebound. Jackson is blocked. Oh, my. Um, a lot of exuberance here by the Spanish player. Uh, but, of course, he thought it was all ball, but maybe it was with the body. Well, the ref was right there. He had good position, and he has a smile on his face. He said to himself, I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the thing about it. Ababa has the best officials in the whole Caribbean. Well, you know, we try our best, you know, to, to call the game fair. You know, that's what it's all about, you know, and... Um, Hey, 45 seconds left in the first half. The Battle of the Champions, Division I champion, and the Division II champion just newly promoted. Wow. Oh, oh that, that one, he threw that one up and, and, and just raced after the ball. Bente for three. Got to make that, Bente. comes away with the board. Here comes Stephen. Machu puts his head down, goes in strong, and oh, look out. No call! Looking for the charge. Something had to be there. I had a blocking. I, I, I thought he was in there too, so that should have been a blocking. Well, I'm telling you, I'm still saying, I can't even get a call even if against me. Wow. That was some serious contact. You know, I, I must say, um, for, 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 for OJ's, um, you know, I'm, I'm listening to Coach Bradsbury. He seemed to be pretty quiet this evening. You know, you, usually he's pacing the, the floor and, he, you know, screaming at his players, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, maybe. Of course, shouting out instruction. But, but I think, it, it be, I don't know, um, someone says it's maybe it's because um, Spanish Heat is not, um, you know, putting up the fight that um, everyone expected. Expected. I, you know, if not, maybe um, there's been some growth on his side. <laughs> so maybe that's what it is. So much, you know... As you, you know, as old wine, you know, that's what it is. But it's still a close game, you know. Yeah, it's it is. A, it's only a 12-point game. 12-point game. That's four three-pointers, McCoy. Yes, yes. Uh, is my match right? Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> and clearly, Nick and McGregor doesn't want to take any. He gets it back. Does he do? Donald. Donald for three. Ambitious. If Pimenta. Here's a long pass. Inside. He pivots. Oh, that's a bit too hard. Oh, my. That should have been an, a, an easy bucket. That would have done good for the, for the Spanish team. Uh, but there goes the buzzer, ending the first half of this encounter. It's 45 to QT's over Zodres and 33 to Spanish Heat.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're here doing a quick interview with the um, current national head coach, Mr. George Hughes Esquire. How are you doing tonight, Mr. Hughes? I don't know about Esquire. <laughs> hey, we have, I'm, I'm told that we have national practice um, carrying on right now. How's that going? Um, it is going pretty, pretty feverishly. We, we have like about, I think, 70, 67 more weeks um, left back to the competition. So we have good numbers coming out to the practices and um, we are just trying to get ourselves to a place where, you know, we can compete. All right. And um, of course, potential um, opponents are who? Well, first of all, you know, we have a, a very young team. Um, we, we are trying to go, you know, the youth, the youth movement. Mm -hmm. And um, we are actually in a group, we, we're in an eight-team um, competition, yes. which is going to be divided into four teams 
and the venues are either um, Nicaragua or Chile. Chile. Um, they haven't decided yet which, which group we're in, but I think we'll find that group out shortly. But the poten some, some potential um, teams are Cuba, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Chile and Nicaragua, and a couple of the Central American teams. I'm told Bolivia might be included. Yeah, either Bolivia and Ecuador are actually in a competition on the 20, 23rd to the 27th of May. And the winner of that competition will actually complete the eight team. All right, so we're just hoping, well, we're hoping that um, the, the young bloods, the young dogs, right. um, um, take the, the instructions given and that they're ready for the fight. Well, I mean, I must caution people, it's a very young team. And um, outside of uh, straight up W, we have to find other other things that you know we can we can um, we can say that we achieved right. So yes, yes. if we don't small victories, yeah, small victories. So if we don't win outright, you know we want to be able to use this as a stepping stone for future because I mean the the the, the average age of the team is probably about 21 years old, and wow. if we can keep this team together for the next 10, 15 yeah. years. We're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Yes, sir. We should have some excellent Bulldogs basketball. Yeah, well, I mean, So we are hoping that, of course, they recognize it's not just a win or loss. I, I just say it's not a win or loss, it's how you play the game. Also, the, the, we want, we're asking the public to be patient with them, you know, because this is, it is probably a very, very, very yes. um, big tournament for inexperienced people. Yeah, first timers. First soon. timers. So yes. we are, we are, we're trying to put them into a lot of situations to pressure simulate, cooker, pressure cooker guys, yeah, to simulate yeah. exactly what Situational we need. Situational basketball, right, yes, right, yes. And they, um, the effort is good, but actually when you get on site, you know, and the, the, the crowd and all the things, you yeah. know, we, we oh, have yeah. to... Not, not in the comfort of your exactly. own Exactly, something that you're not really accustomed yeah. to. So we're trying to help them, you know, to be able to be comfortable playing in that situation. Yeah. Well, hey, I wish you... Um, all the best. Yeah. You know that. We are trying to just impart different habits, you know, different um, different things that we know that can take them, you know, a long way. And we, 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 we're also thinking about, you know, them being good young men as well during yeah. the process. Holistic well. approach. Exactly. And of course, we're going to speak to you throughout the season so and to get updates. So we no will problem. No problem. All right, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. We're going to go back to the action now with Mr. Knight and myself. So it's 49.36, 8 minutes and 20 seconds left in the third quarter. The Ovals OJs maintain a 13-point lead. Oh! Still 13. Still, uh, all those move after the basket, after the call. Don't count, ladies and gentlemen. Well, certainly not. Guys flexing their muscle after the, after the whistle. Uh, but um, Ovals pounding the offensive glass, and that's good. Yes, that's what we want to see. They have a, they have a size advantage, you would say, a height advantage, Mr. Knight. Um, they just got to put it together. Well, they have a lot of big players, you know what I mean? I'm really impressed with the size, you, you know. And again, it's left to be seen what all these guys can do together as a team. But again, here we go. It's, uh, here's Machu. Machu with a drive. Drive strong. Oh, what a block there. Oh, by Edwards. Edwards, get him up there. And slapping that one away. Get that piece of junk out of here. Nice pass. Inside. Richards with the spin. Tony could have used his left hand with that finish. Uh, but that's not um, Richards. Here's Mackerel. Drives. With the finger roll. Oh, he's feeling a bit. He's feeling it now. Yes, that's good to see. You that's can see a there's a different um, you know, movement in his steps. Double team comes. Swings ahead, out of bounds, turnover. Good pressure, good pressure defense. That's like a barbed wire defense there just a while ago. Two man press. <laughs> Time out on the floor, 52 36. Still seven minutes, 43 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's overs OJs versus Spanish Sheet. And overs are 52 to 36. Yes, I know the, everyone attending and viewing would, um, you know, when you hear the ovals run, they would expect more excitement and so forth. But it's good methodical basketball. And it's, a good, it's learning and gelling together 
because this is a really a practically a new unit coming out on the court. Well, um, certainly so, it is. Uh, but uh, you can say even though Spanish League just came in, for, uh, came up from the sec second division, this is the first time they're really um, playing at this level. And they can certainly see that this is not second division. And yeah, clearly. And without a doubt, Mr. Knight, the measure, if they had that player, Ed Edgar, um, that, uh, that guard, the point guard, that would have been the real test. Oh, certainly you know, he's so, because he, he's, a, he, he's, a, he's a solid player. And he would have made a big difference here. Tavares drives. Look out. Hamilton with the black shot. Here's Bloody. Inside. Oh, and it's a foul. Yeah, hey, look, I, I'm saying uh, Michael Edwards was up so high that um, Stephen Macho was practically caught <laughs> underneath of him when he was skying so high, waiting to block that shot. Well, um, Edwards goes out, and Kareem Edwards, and, and Delante Jules, Jules, Delante Jules comes in. An athletic young, 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 well, I'm going to say prospect, but an athletic player. He just needs to temper his game, sometimes just slow it down a little, and I think he can really get better. Well, you know, I mean, um, McCoy, I, I, I must say this, um, you cannot use the word prospect forever and ever. There comes a time when you have to cut that talk off of prospect. Or potential, or <laughs> yeah, <till> like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with you, Mr. Knight. He tried, he attempts a three, misses. Was that, is that a shot? Well, that was a, a, a bit too deep a while ago, you know. He's bloody. Loses the basketball. Oh, my. Good hands, good active defense being played here by the Oval Soldiers. Oh, Stephen. are you kidding me? It has to be a push and foul on, on um, number McDonald. 15. What's his name? 52 38, 647 to go in this third quarter. We still have the fourth to go. It's um, Oval, Scooties, Oval, OJs against Spanish Sheet, newly promoted. Joshua Minna for three. This time he misses one. But Jackson skies for the rebound. Jackson still with the basketball. Jackson has it. I'm telling you. What's the call here? Stepping out of bounds. Are you kidding me? The calls always look different in the stand. They were all over the guy's back, riding him like a horse. A donkey. <laughs> oh, boy. You got to bring the pain, ladies and gentlemen. That's a near steal situation. Here's Matthew. Good Matthew. defense there. The screen comes. Here's a shot for three. A oh, it's good. Cruz. Cruz for three. Count it. Here's Benta. Oh, nice screen. Benta swings it across to, uh, to Jules. Jules with a run out. No good. Oh, why did he save that ball? But here come Matthews. He hustled up court. Matthews with a basketball. He pulls it back. Good. Vladdy looks in. Nice pass to Hamilton. Get out of here, That's Jackson. What you want to say. Jackson met him at the rim and rejected him. My, my, my. That was impressive, I'm telling you. I love it. Oh, Vasco fighting there. To the applause of his oh. coach, Bradsbury Brown. Coach Brown with a smile on his face saying, I love it, Vasco. Keep working hard. Yes, yes, that's what you want to see. That work ethic, that motto, that high motto you want to see from your players. Really grinding, trying to get the ball, trying to get that possession, next possession for your team. 52, 41. I'm going to tell you, Mr. Knight. I'm going to tell you, Mr. Knight. The Spanish sheets are praying that whatever injury Ed Edgar has, that it heals quickly in time for the next game. Well, I'm hoping that he'll be back because I'm telling you, that there's a number of fans who came up here tonight just to see him. That's the type of impact he has on the game. Yeah, he's a total showman. I like him. I like him. He might be a showman, but he can get the job done. <laughs> it's 
So substitutions. So who's coming in? Where's where's coming in for who? One. It's all happening here. So Minna with the free throw, the first free throw. So it's 53-41, a 12-point lead, five minutes and 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Joshua Minna, J. Lo, man from Missouri, misses. The, it's a shot over. Fifty-three forty-one. Oh, JSC is the place to be. Oh, that could have been an over-the-back foul. <laughs> oh, Vladdy out of control. Nice pass, Mina. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Jules double clutching, but could not finish the job. Oh, what a block oh, shot two there. Two men blocked him. Wow, excellent defense being applied. Mina swings it across court, but he was held. Amai Perez. So it's ball on the side. Substitution. We've seen Azil going in. Who's he taking out? Taking out. Well, I think it's, it's, it's bonus. It should be two shots. Let's see, Mina tonight, he's shooting about 72% from the feature line. Wow. Is he tired, Mr. Knight? Is I don't it, know. Is it the heat? No, I don't know. We, uh, this is the second time I'm seeing him. <laughs> He's missed both. Maybe he was too close to the basket. Is a cross court pass to uh, Rias. Rias has it. He looks, ah. try to find someone. He finds Perez. Perez to, to Castro. Castro looks in. Perez has it. Perez to Perez. Oh my, he's found by Azil. Azil knocked him to the floor. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> that, that's like a bailout. <laughs> Donnell, there's two seconds on the shot clock. Donnell got a little excited there. And he, he saw it happen, but he could not stop his body. Well, Donald, Donald plays the game one way, and that's hard, you know what I mean? Every, every single second, he plays hard. So, you know, sometimes you, a, a player like that, you know you're going to get a lot out of him. So give him a break on that one. And we know he's just coming back from a hiatus. So it's a 10-point game. I'm, I'm saying that Spanish Street, they, you know, they're, they're still close in the game. It's only a 10-point game. They could cut it now to single digit. Perez. And he knocks it down. He does. Tavares Benta. Joshua Mena. Benta. Swings it to Mena. Mena, nice. It's, oh. The double team comes. Where is he going? Swings it. Oh, he fumbles the basketball. Shot clock down to one. He puts it up. That's a prayer, but it hits the rim. Look who comes away with it. It's the hard working. Donnell Azil. I like the dude. I like him. He's a hard worker. He could make my team any day. What is it? Is it the, um, the lunch pail team or the hard hat team? Come on, McCoy. I'm just asking a question. <laughs> the fans want to know. And well, we gotta say, we you gotta know, McCoy, when, 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 when I'm thinking about selecting a team, I'm, I'm looking at certain guys. I need guys to fit all sorts of roles. 
Yes. You know, what we would call a garbage man. Guys who will, who will put their body on the line. I like those type of guys. Those hard workers. I will go to war with these guys anytime. And that's Donald Azeel. Hey, I'm just seeing um, the return of Eric Klein. That strong man. Is he back in the country? Will he be here for the whole season? Well, yeah, uh, he's back. He went to, um, he went away on a little vacation with his wife, and now they're back. And so we welcome him back home. Oh, here's a double team. Castro swings it ahead, and no, oh, Perez could not handle it. 55 44. Joshua looking for the seam. Joshua drives, oh, he misses. Joshua don't usually miss those, those shots. Yeah, I guess he was too open. At 11 point lead, 55-44. Perez for three. Shot. Ooh. Nice hustle there by Reyes with a runner. Could he get it for all? No. Rim is not kind at all to Perez. They got to make some defensive stands here, the over Jays. Yes. yes, for three. Looks good. No, it's an air ball. <laughs> Here's Benta. Benta looks for the seam. Benta is hacked there by Pimentel. And he will shoot two. So it's 55 to 44. Three minutes still to go in the third. Question to you, Mr. Knight. Yes, I'm right here. Do you, um, do, what do you think about the... the the speed of play. Um, do you think it's too pedestrian? Do you think it needs to be increased? Because um, when we travel overseas as a unit, at like Bulldogs or the national team, the speed is what normally gets us on our heels. Sometimes we are too, we walk the ball up, we're too pedestrian, too methodical in our approach. Well, it looked like we have an injury there. There's a player uh, jogging himself off the court, and that looked like, like Rias. Rias, Rias. Jesus Rias. Maybe it's just a stinger. Could be a cramp. It's been a pretty hot day. But uh, back to your question, McCoy. Yes, yes. You, you, you know, you know it, 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 is, it is amazing uh, that you, when you look at our players in the lead, you will see that we play an up-tempo game. You know, sometimes a little bit too fast for, for my liking because, you know, we turn, uh, the, the ball has been turned over a lot. But then now when we see our national team, you know, preparing or we, we, we're going overseas, then we, we, we fall right back into a, a half-court situation. But when you look at our lead, it's a run and gun up and down, you, you know. Well, so therefore we really got to employ that because once we leave the shores of Antigua, uh, the brand of basketball which the Bulldogs were known for, the Wadadley Bulldogs. Well, it's all about control, you know. You, um, if you're going to run the floor, push it up court, it, nice pass inside, the big mouth, a nice jump hook. I like that. I like what Over is doing. They're trying to pound the ball inside to Jackson, and Jackson is getting a nice workout tonight. Oh, beautiful trap. Magnificent trap there. Look out. Here comes the big man. Get out of his way. Get out. Oh, oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Call the fire truck. Come on here. Jackson. Oh, man. Without the regard. Woo. No regard. Of I'm telling you. The guys, the rim is on fire. I'll tell you. Alexis Jackson, Jackson delivered the goods. Just with brought his teammates out of their seats. Man, I thought he had wings, McCoy. I think he does. Wow, I love it. Brought the house down. Everybody stood on their feet to acknowledge Great. the tremendous effort the there by Jackson. For. The fans have been waiting for. So you know with that move, oh my, I hope we have that on replay. But what was impressive about that is where he, he, he jumped from, where he elevated from on the floor. And, 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 and he had a little twist rub, a little flare, a little kick with the feet, a little side movement there, and then he delivered it with a two-hand tomahawk. Boom. I think I, should go, home, I think I should go get that guy autograph. Oh, my. I know. He's on the <laughs> Get his autograph, McCoy. Right, We're going to sell it 
on the market. Switch him after the game. <laughs> oh, here comes the double team. Nice full court press here. Oh, uh, the ball I, goes I slow must com defense. I must commend um, Coach Bradbury Brown tonight. You, you, you know, um, it's not much you see um, a club team uh, and doing all these things. But here we go. Tremendous pressure being applied. Here comes Hamilton. Hamilton. Like a mock truck coming through there. Well, look out. Mid up. Ooh. Oh, body control. Ooh, the guy's punching motion when you see him elevate in the air. Oh, my. Oh, come on, Vladdy. 62 44. Oh, nice combination. Good pass there. I'm telling you. Oh, the buzz is still in the building, McCoy. Yes, it, uh, it is. For what it we is. just saw. Minna has it. You know what? When I go home tonight, I'm going to rewind. I'm going to check out Parish League, ACB Parish League, my oh, boy. There's that man for you. Yeah. I'm oh, going no. to check out ACB Parish League because I want to see that dunk again. Yes, that, I think that's going to make the sports center on. And Platinum, Platinum, 97.9. That's it. That's it. That just got it. Carlin has to talk about that tomorrow. Yep. So 64 to 46, a minute 12 to go in the third. I thought this was the fourth, but we still have a whole quarter yes. to go. It's heating up. <laughs> Traveling. Wow. It's like a good part of Sioux or a good part of Pepper Pot. <laughs> it's going to be tasty at the end. And if it has some jumpers in it, oh my. And some okro. You know, Marco, I can see that you... You're, you're, you're really having a good time tonight because <laughs> your team is winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, basketball is winning. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> it's Philip. Philip swings it to Joshua. Pull step back with a three. No. Good. Here's the shot. Come on, Javon. Yeah, but hey, hey, Javon is saying, I'm wide open. Why, why am I going to be resetting? Why we, I'm saying. I'm saying, um, if I'm open, I got a, a 12 foot shot. I'm open. He said, my, my, my bad coach. He indicated well, coach. Give me a break, man. I'm, I'm, I'm open. I'm open. Are you gonna tell uh, um, um, Curry that when Curry's open, if, if there's a rebound, that he should reset it? He's gonna yeah, knock yeah, it down. There's only one Curry. Well, I don't mean to say that a Javon is a Curry. Oh. When Orlando fouls you, you get fouled. You get the whole foul cup. Sixty-four forty-eight. Um, six seconds. Six point two seconds left. And I'm telling you, it looks like if Beef is the assistant coach, he's doing a wonderful job as um as one of the senior players or the veterans. And he's uh, just reassuring Azil what to do. Well, I told you that. I told you that Beef um, is the assistant coach of the team. And, um, you know, his job is to, when the players come off, he will talk to them and, you know, and try to, to let them understand what the coach, coach Brad wants of them, you know, when they get on the court. Well, you know, he's there for the assistant he's emergency. He's there for emergency purposes. Remember, it's a, bit, it's a pretty, a pretty hot week. You, you know, I'm telling you, I, I refereed the game, the, um, the first game today, and I, I was sweating like a porpoise, you know. But even though the, um, much people did not see me sweating, McCoy, and they were asking, but I was sweating in my shirt. Yes, yes. You know, because you're a cool guy. No, you, you see, McCoy, I've been always asked this question: Why don't you sweat like the other referees? So you sweat like you sweat with style. I like how I like how you're saying it. I told him, listen, man, I've been to Shaolin. Ah. <laughs> 66-48, a minute 20. Uh, We're gonna be going into the fourth baby. quarter. Never stop. Overs OJ's with the lead. Never Again, opening night of uh, Division One, One basketball. And we continue on Thursday. 
Saturday and Sunday right here at JSC. Come on out and watch Division One yes, basketball. Right. Definitely. When I'm selling you the arm, I'm watching the body language of the Spanish Heat. Um, sponsored by La Galaxy over here. And um, the movie, movie house. And uh, you know, the over soldiers, we have a lot of sponsors, a lot of partners this year. We got to speak about them. L&L &L Supplies Limited, Bastock Limited, Extreme Gym, Antigua, Argono Ergonomics Limited, and of course, the longest um, sponsor in Antigua and Barbie the basketball, the Honorable Steadwall Cutie Benton. Hey, McCoy, you calling a whole, you have a whole list of, of, of sponsors, so I'm expecting to see when OJ is coming to this park, I need to see Snap Uni, Snap Warmers, you know what I mean, uh, all these things. Hey, these guys nowadays, they don't want those things. Can you believe that? <laughs> they don't want that setup. Maybe the same color shoe. I don't know. Maybe some Nikes. I don't know. I don't know. We got to see. We With all those sponsors you've been calling there. Hey, we're thinking about the holistic approach. So we have the gym to strengthen our bodies and everything. We look at everything, not just, not just the, the, the clothing. <clears throat> we're going from strength to strength. All right. Leave it alone, McCoy. Leave it alone. 66-48. This is the fourth quarter, the final quarter of the evening. A Spanish sheet in the blue and, and a little purple. Here's Machu with the basketball. He drives in. Oh, thought he was fouled, but there's no call. Loose ball. And, uh, and the ref says it's Spanish sheet ball. With 13 seconds on the shot clock. Here's the pass. Rias pulls up. No. Oh, look. Good defense there. Look out. Jules. Oh my. Look at that shot. Oh, that's a magnificent shot there by Simon. <laughs> Pimental for three. No. Joshua has it. He says, let's slow it down a little bit. Makes a nice inside pass to Jackson. Jackson puts it back outside to Jules, and Jules misses. Uh, you, you, know, you know, I like the effort here from Jackson in this game. You, you know, he looks pretty fit. He's been running the floor up and down. He's been involved in everything. I'm impressed, you know, and I think that we have a good prospect um, for the national team going to wherever we're going. Yes. Yes, good effort there. Uh, I, you know, know. I hope that that exuberance rubs off to his teammates and will be continued throughout the, um, the upcoming game. Mina, thought about a three. He gives it to Javon. Javon misses. Oh, look at the hustle by Javon. Wow. Well, Javon, hey, you know, he's never, never seen a shot that he didn't like. I, mean, I think that's um, ingrained in him from since I've been watching him in school league. He always has the green light to take a shot. Jackson, Simon, Simon oh spins. Oh, wow. that one caught him across the face, but that was accidental. It's an 18 point lead, 68 to 50. Oh. That one large in the rim is gonna be um, Oval's ball, possession. So we're down to eight minutes, 68 to 50. Minnow, fade away, make set. Well, Joshua Minnow just trying this, just working on his shot. You, you, you could see that, you know, I mean, just, just they know this one is in the bag, and so they're just working on their game, preparing themselves for game two. Cross court. Ma, what a catch and shoot. That was quick. Oh, lovely tip there. Here's a pass to Jules. Oh. Ooh. That's a foul. Clearly wears. Oh, uh, His yes. name is spelled like Jesus, but it's uh, Jesus. 
R E Y E S is Jesus. No, his first name. His first name is J E S U S. Okay, I'm just saying what I see on the back of his jersey, yeah, McCoy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I know his first name and his last name also, Mr. Knight. Okay, all righty. Jules misses the first one. 70-50. Prepares for the second. Yeah. And he misses both. Here's Macho. Macho drives in. Goes for the reverse. No good. Hey, careful, careful there, boy. Oh, that's a nice hustle. Oh, look at that hustle. Don't get up, son. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely play. Matthews with the reverse, baby. Look at that double clutch in there. He's wearing number 24. What's the significance? That's Kobe's last number. Kobe? Oh, come on, come on. You're going you gonna to mention Matthews and talk about Kobe? Come on, you should be ashamed of yourself. Kobe -esque. You should be ashamed of yourself, McCoy. 70-52. <laughs> Benta comes in. So 18 point lead here. So is it that, uh, that Simon will be somewhat of a uh, makeshift point guard in, his, in the setup? Well, that's what it is. You, you know, Clearly, um, yes, because um, the others are not guards. What about, um, what about the point guard there, McCoy? You're the manager for the Ovals team. <laughs> what about that point guard coming out of the States? Is Jermaine, he coming? Uh, Jermaine Golden Bolden. Yes, what about Jermaine? And I, I, I'm, don't think he's going to make it this year. Oh, he's not going to make it this year. No, no. Oh, he might just come down for the playoffs. You never know. Yes, we are. Um... Oh! Big! Oh, my. That's all the way from down there in Drake Street. Oh, that was just beautiful. I'm telling you. The start of it, you, you know, the, the, the beautiful ball handling skills, and then knock that one out. That one didn't even touch the rim. 21-point lead. <laughs> Stephen Machu. Come on, no one is going for the biggest guy. Let's see what Tavares go. goes. Goes with the left hand, misses. I saw, he though. looked that way, but um, he left it alone. Rears for three. Nope. Come oh on. McDonald. Look out. No Look at elevation. the big man also. They're fighting for the ball. <laughs> Pemberton with all the passion, but of course, no result. I think he's going on with the L tonight. Five minutes and 44 seconds left in this encounter. The, uh, the final game. I haven't seen Mr. Carlton Leopold tonight, Mr. Brun Mr. Knight. What's going on? They're looking for the, 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 the other bar. But he's not there anymore. Now that's a mystery. I see what you're saying, Mr. Knight, with, with McGregor. He's going to get it back. No way to pass it. Misses again. The double team comes. Where's? He looks for an open man on the baseline. He gives it to Cruz. Rez loses it. Ball goes out of bounds and goes over to the Ovals OJs. Seventy-five, fifty-two, four minutes and fifty-three seconds. Do you believe that the Spanish Heat will come back, make a comeback in this game? Uh, they will come back for the next day, but not in this game. It's 75 this is over. Yeah, this one is over. It is. Um, it's academic. You know, 
but but I like the effort. Continue to play, you know. I mean, they got to build off of this and get it into to, to the next game, prepared for the next game. Well, well young you, Pimentel has Joseph entered the game. Nikon doesn't look fit. Oh my! Oh! Oh! Ooh. Double barrel! Oh! Joshua giving the ball a spanking. Wow, bloody said, I'm going to get out of the way. Break it down. Break it down, Jackson. Break it down. Uh, uh, well, I don't really mean break it down. You know what I'm talking about. Here we go again. Joshua Minna, he goes up. Oh. <laughs> what a fantastic miss. That's a fantastic miss. Wow, the crowd, the crowd enjoyed that one. Here's Josh. Oh, nice double team. Cruz. Nice bump pass to Pimentel. Pimentel swings it up to Vladdy. Vladdy. Castro. Pimentel with the runner. Nope. That's like a soft defense there by Alexis. <laughs> Oh, uh, he, he. oh on. Nick and can't buy Nick a bucket. The pass is too rich for him. They got it back. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it's all about. Well, I, I like the sub right now. I think um, Jackson should also. Yes, I, I get a breather. Um, it's all over. <laughs> Prepare for game two. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 77. Seventy-seven fifty-two, three minutes and eight seconds left. Yes, basketball is back. Uh, Division one uh, basketball right at JSC Sporting Complex. Um, tonight was the opening night for Division one. Basketball continues um, on, on, on Thursday. Saturday and Sunday night, right here at JSC, double headers will be played, and it's just going to be action, action, and more action. Yes, Wednesday, we're going to be playing four nights Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Four nights of basketball, double header. Oh, it's going to be great, McCoy. Plenty of basketball action. That's a lot of basketball. I'm you, my choir is going to be full. Boy, I got to watch what I'm, what I'm digesting. And I, the thing about it, I'm hoping we don't have it to hand us yet, but um, I thought by now we'd have the schedule so we can tell our fans, tell our listeners out there and our viewers so they can join us. Well, all they need to know right now, you know, I mean, that basketball will be playing um, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Ooh. Spanish sheet still playing hard. 2.36 to go in this ball game. Opening night of Division One basketball. Bento with a long one. Not much, no movement at all. The ball passed, but everyone was stationary. Edwards thinking about a three. Nice pass inside to McGregor, and McGregor uh, just reverses it. It made it look good. Yeah, that was a nice pass. Good heads up play by, by, by Edwards. Um, and he, an easy shot for his comrade. It's a 28 point lead. Pemberton. <laughs> wow, that's, on the the first, that's the first foul for OJs in this quarter. Wow, so they're playing excellent defense 
without a foul. Somebody's fouled out. Oh, Baldwin Anthony is on the court. Yes, he's an unorthodox um, talent, but uh, I think he has something to offer. Rebound there, uh, still there. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, that, was, that, was, that was real slow, I'm telling you. Oh, Philip, Philip, good rebound there. Knocked to the floor, good effort there uh, by the youngster. Hey, Nick and McGregor is um, playing in slow motion. Yeah, he, 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 he plays pretty slow. He, you, you know, um, he loves the game of basketball. Yes, yes. You know, but... Um, Does the game you love know, him back? I, I, you, you know, uh, you know sometimes we love the game, but the game You know, McCoy... I think part of our job is when we see youngsters is to guide them in the right direction. So to management? And, and um, I know some time ago he started out as an official. And I think I would like to guide him back to that um, direction. Come and join us here as an official. <laughs> that's what I recognized that early, so that's why I became an announcer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Marco. I, I remember when you, when you used to try a little thing. <laughs> The game is still there no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a 24 to go. Yes. Young Pemberton, he wants to score. <laughs> Almost does. Bento comes up. A very unorthodox shot by young Philip Delante. Reyes. Has it. Unmarked. Pemberton. A young point guard. Young guard. Ah, <laughs> oh boy. Vladimir. Oh. <laughs> Come on. 80 to 54. We, we, we are under a minute now. 49 seconds. Of course, this one is in the bag. Um, as we will say, McCoy, the fat lady, has what? That lady's shaking a sweet oil right now. <laughs> and she's wearing red tonight. So she wore red for the first game and red for the second. Spanish sheet. Uh, a long shot there by Jesus. Where's to just cut the lead to 23. But 80-57. Is the score right now. Tavares Benta has it. Pass it to Donna Lazil. Azil to McGregor. McGregor to his teammate. Anthony. Oh! Anthony goes up. Was he fouled? No oh. call by the ref. He gets yeah, we, no love. Nah, no love. We ain't no call love for the referee. Right now. Come on. Tonight. This game is all I over. That. This game is all over. 80 to 57. This one is going to go into the winning bracket for Cuties, Ovals, OJs. Opening with a win as usual. Ovals has always opened a win for the past five years of basketball. I'm not going to entertain you with that, uh, McCoy. This one is over right now. We're going to leave that for another day. Another day, McCoy. You can ask a former young gun uh, from Ovals. That's Coach Cedric Super David, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm well, not here's the, the here goes the buzzer, and then uh, this encounter uh, with the cuties ovals OJs coming away with the victory, 80 to 57 over uh, the Spanish Heat.